All right. Well, hello, everybody. We're here with the Sword and Shield trade out main race. And if you guys are expecting some more mayhem, you're going to get it. It's a longer run, of course, but you're still going to get it. So uh, we do appreciate everybody still staying by and everything else. And uh, we'll take it away, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. That was Hi. not all at the same time. Wow, that was not that was not <laughs> that at was... all. <laughs> Come on, you were supposed to do it all at the same time. <laughs> oh, close. <laughs> okay, so I think we're just gonna get right into it. First of all, we're gonna show what Pokemon we have. Uh, First of we'll... all, we should probably introduce ourselves. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> Hi, I am Amber. Hello, my name is Greta. Uh, yeah. And I'm Aspect. <laughs> I'm um, okay. Yeah, so yeah as you all can the see, trade main... one of us is not like the other. Uh... <laughs> 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 all right, why don't we get the timer started first, and then we can explain yeah, what exactly we, we're doing. Yeah. This is a long run. We got time. We got lots we of got time. We got plenty of time. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to assume whoever's on the timer is ready. So I'll count down from five. Are you two ready? Yep. Yes. All right. Uh, from five, four, three, two, one, and go. Sorry for saying and. I just realized that. <laughs> 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 I, I, I did it by habit. <laughs> Okay, so this is uh, a trade alt main race. Uh, first of all, for those of you who don't know what trade alt main is, basically what the rules allow you to do is to trade in pretty much any Pokemon uh, of your choosing at level seven, and then you can and then you run the entire game with that Pokemon. Uh, there are a lot of different rules about like how you're allowed to set up your Pokemon, uh, what you're allowed to teach it, what you're allowed to do in the game. Uh, before this point, etc., etc. Um, so this is going to be race. I will be running a uh, Vaporeon. You two want to say what you're running? I guess I'm going first. I was like, yeah. I'll wait for Aspect. <laughs> 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 no, as as you can tell, I am running Glaceon. Um, mm -hmm. um, basically, the reasoning as to why I'm Glaceon already and not just Eevee is the Ice Stone is very far into the game, and it would it would just suck. Like it just would suck if we had to wait that long. So we have a rule in place where you can use the Ice Stone before the run. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, and I'm going to be running Sylveon, which is. Uh slightly more awkward to evolve than any of the others but uh fairy typing's very strong it is yep. good so you may be wondering why we started in front of the pokemon center at wedgehurst so for this category you start pretty much as soon as you're allowed to actually like trade and put pokemon to the, to the game so what we've already done is we've already uh gone through like the intro, got our starter, done the first rival battle. Uh, a couple extra things we've also done, we also caught a Pokemon on Route 1 that allowed us to uh, skip the uh, catching tutorial at the beginning of the game. And also there is a rare candy uh, right beside uh, the Magnolia's Pokemon Lab and you are allowed to pick that up before the run. So we all have one rare candy in our bag right now. Yeah, we're basically just pretending as if this is our starter that we're using. So, you know, we beat Hop, we got to level 7, and now we're on our way. I one-shot Nicket. Ooh. That crit actually mattered. Oh, we should talk about crits in this game. You lose 3 seconds every time you crit. And if you Yay. crit in a Hop fight, you lose like 7 or something. It's pretty Yay. great. Yay! <laughs> you lose so an entire up. turn, basically, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So pretty much how this is going to go is uh, we're going to do this kind of like little finishing off the intro part of the game, which is getting past the second rival fight and then getting to the wild area. And then once we get to the wild area, the three of us will be doing uh, very different things. So yes. 
for my rat, what I'll be doing is once I get there, I will be collecting 3,000 watts uh, and getting the TR for Scald. Then also picking up the Water Stone. And with both of those things, then I can enter uh, Motor Soak and continue my run. If you two wanted to tell, say what you two are doing. Yeah, so basically all I got to do is uh, I'm going to do a raid to get the TR for Shadow Ball, which we're going to be using quite a lot here because Shadow Ball's good and it's good. So uh, my my journey in the wild area should be pretty quick unless things go, you know, like horribly wrong, but it'll be fine. Um, and I'll also get some EXP candies from that as well, which will be very nice because levels are good most of the time. Yeah, and I'll um, I'll be getting a dazzling gleam den um, and then also going halfway through the wild area to get some uh, friendship berries. And then evolve probably halfway through the fights in Motorstoke. Uh, I'm also using the hidden ability for Eevee, which is Anticipation. Um, which means I don't get adaptability boosted attacks, which is why I'll be falling a little bit behind in the early game here. Mm -hmm. However, or it does get Sylvie on the ability Pixelite, which is way too good to not use. <laughs> Yeah, for Vaporeon, uh, I think either the ability doesn't really matter. So I have adaptability right now on Eevee, which means that my uh, stab normal type moves do two times damage instead of 1.5. Uh, that'll give me water absorb as uh, Vaporeon, which doesn't really matter that much. Sometimes you can get lucky and get like a nice heal off of something, but it's nothing that uh, the route is based around. Yeah, I have um, Snow Cloak. It does uh, it does something. I'm just <laughs> something that I don't care enough to know. <laughs> it increases your accuracy in hail. Oh, that actually is important. No, it increases your evasion in hail. Oh, that's, that's less important. <laughs> yeah, it's not 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 great. I don't yeah, I don't yeah. think it would matter, matter for the run. See, that's why I don't yeah. know. <laughs> uh, so I had to three I had to three shot uh, hops. Um, starter there. Uh, in the we speed tie it the entire time. I the only speed tie I lost was the last one he talked about water. Oh yeah, we should also talk about how our Pokemon are set up. Uh, so, uh, we've actually bred all of our Pokemon that we're using here to be pretty much perfect. So, mine is all 31 IVs and Modest. I believe Aspect here is also all 31s and Modest. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and mine is also Modest, but the attack stat really does not matter, which is very convenient because breeding kind of sucks and getting 6 IVs kind of sucks, <laughs> so... Yeah, the only thing attack matters for, for Vaporeon and Sylveon, I think, is basically those first, like, three fights that we use covered on, and yeah. it doesn't matter after this. So it's yeah, not like so you can deal if you only get using attack. Yeah, you can, you can get away with not having 31 IV attack, at least for Vaporeon, but it still needs to be good enough, so... All right, let me not bonk on a plant. Bonking on things in the in like houses in this game is actually so easy. I do it <laughs> all the time. My favorite is like there's a little when you like time starts for this category like from when you exit the wedge or center, and if you hold straight left, there's like a little like small bush that you can get <laughs> stuck on. The amount of times that I've seen. I've seen players just like bonk right into there. <laughs> just gonna make sure, hopefully I don't see any zigzagoons in the grass here. They run very fast and it's very easy to get hit by them. So. They run fast and they run randomly. <laughs> Uh, 
Hey, I made it through without any encounters, which is nice. I did have some close calls because of uh, where I normally run, how it's like filled with Pokemon. Uh. They do zigzag, that is true, Randall. I've got a zigzagoon, okay, good. It was nice. <laughs> Yeah, Zigzagoons are common on Route 3, so when we get there, you'll uh, yeah. probably be seeing some dodges, or attempted dodges at least. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see how that one goes. <laughs> you can just whistle and they'll stop. Oh, that's true, I didn't know that. Yeah, they turn around and look at you. As, as I, we learn from like every Sword Shield marathon run I do, I don't know anything about this game. Like, <laughs> That is not immediately relevant to a route that I've done. <laughs> yeah, whist whistling is relevant in, I think, one route in the entire game. And that is Galarian Star Tournament. Uh, I know in the, in like the day one sword route, well, I think there was like an idea to like go get the Corvus Squire from Route 3, I think. And you had the whistle for that. Uh. Yeah, you'd use uh, Corvus Squire for uh, Milo. Yeah, it was not a good route because you had the backtrack for it. <laughs> and then some Japanese runners were just like, we just use Sobble. And we're like, oh yeah, we can just do that. <laughs> just, oh, hey. yeah. just, Honestly, get, just get hit the range, lol. <laughs> There's so many times where, like, all the, like, the, the English Pokemon speedrunning community will, like, do some, like, a weird strat. And then we just look at the Japanese rank and be like, wait, we could just do that instead and be way better. <laughs> Alright, anyways, I'm going to be looking around at where the raids are. Because while I don't have to do a raid, um, I get way more watch if I talk to a den that has a raid than a den that doesn't have a raid. Oh, I have the raid. I see it. The raid that I need. Okay, it's actually pretty decent. It's actually pretty decent. Fun luck for me. Uh, Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and death warp over to Modestoke so I can get there faster. I should have diggers be, I hope, if I set the date right. Okay. But I don't think I've set the date in this game in quite a while. I just deal with whatever <laughs> random encounters I get. I ran into a dig light somehow. <laughs> I was looking at the raids. <laughs> okay. Onyx is track. not... Onyx is not good for death warping. I ran into a diglet <laughs> with arena trap. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I one shot it. Okay, good. That's never happened before. <laughs> yeah, so this raid that I'm heading towards straight in front of me is going to give me Shadow Ball, and hopefully uh, the Pokemon I'm fighting will be not bad. Hopefully it'll be a Drifloon. Hopefully. Yeah, because I currently only have normal moves and then my one ice move. So... Drifloon would be nice. I I'm just entering my Dust and Gleam raid as well. It is a Duskull, it looks like. Alright, who are my teammates? Uh, they're not good. <laughs> yeah, the teammates are random, so sometimes you can just get like awful teammates that do nothing. I have Mudbray, uh, th 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 Throw, Sock, Throw. Oh, Throw is absolutely useless. Yeah. yeah. It throw. only has fighting and normal type moves. Yeah. And then, uh, Weavile. I was wondering, I probably should have Dynamaxed. I was very lucky, I got a... Um, I got a Quillfish in here, and I'm against a Fairy-type. Alright, I'm gonna do something called Denmanep. 
basically, if you go in to invite others and then hand your date... Wait, I think this is going to be a two-turn. Uh, the game actually thinks that you, like, rolled over the date normally, and it will <laughs> allow you That's to... That's the fastest I've done this den. You two-turned a den, really? Wow. I two-turned it. Okay, how many more watch do I need? Let me see. Yeah, but basically by entering invite others, and normally when you change the date, the game like locks you out of some things for 24 hours. One of those things being like uh, the dens uh, respawning, uh, the raids respawning. So I do what's known as a den manip so that I can actually get more watch easily. I also have to do a den manip here, but that's because uh, I made my file on day zero instead of day one. Um, which means that I will get uh, quick balls now. I've just changed the date forward so that the watch traders are different. Mm -hmm. The watch trainers are based on how many days it's been since you started the file. And they won't advance if you like change the date without doing a den manip. Almost there. Playing running simulator currently. Yep. I also am running right now. <laughs> I need to go and get some berries. I... I'm going to buy my quick balls here. Mm -hmm. We'll need quick balls later in the game. Mm -hmm. Not for both for Cabbage Gym and to catch a Pokemon on Route 8 as a partner. So I almost have enough watts. And this is actually really good pathing for me. Because I'm going to get this den right here. And then the watch trade, uh, I need to done minute again so that I get put on the next day. And now I can walk uh, over here. I think it's this person, right? And here I am. So I got skull. Here I'm hoping, here I'm really okay. hoping that I get enough berries from this one tree. That I don't have to go all the way down to the other trees. I'm going to, to get, go to the beware now that I've gotten stalled in my quick boss. I'm going to death warp. Uh, by death warping, it allows me to go straight to the Motostoke um, entrance, which is faster than walking all the way over there because as you can see walking through the wild area is quite slow i got two berries from that tree so i'm going for another walk <laughs> i'm going for another walk too i need to go get the water stone which is Decently far into the wild area so oh, I'm hey go you're going in the same place i am yeah we're going together <laughs> Greta doesn't I just need to like any of on top of me. <laughs> Greta just gets Shadow Ball and then just like immediately dips out. I'm on the road <sighs> to uh, Turfield City. <laughs> I'm already in Motostoke. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Normally I try to like cut through the grass, but if I run to an encounter, uh, I will probably just die unless I can run away first try. I got lucky I ran away from Zigzagoon first try. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna take this pretty safe going like around the grass. There is one grass pack that I have to go through to get the water stone. So uh, hopefully, no problems there. Uh, one grappa. Two grappa. Three grappa. Cool Maybe I should have gotten another quick ball because if I get a quick ball breakout on Route 8, it might be a problem. But You can just we'll pick up the quick balls yeah, before. Yeah, you can pick them up. All right, I'll have you help me and tell me where they are if I need I've to. I've told you before, but I'll tell you again. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't have good enough. memory. It's okay. Okay, this is the grass I need to go through here, so let's hopefully not run into anything. I gotta pay, like... Oh, okay, those are... that was a zigzag in there. That's another one. Yeah. 
Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, we made it. We made it. I got the water stone. All right. Got time. Nice. By the way, if uh, anyone so has one, any number suggestions. Two. That's six. That's eight. That should be enough. I am faster than the bronze door, apparently. <laughs> Level 27 bronze door. <laughs> but if this thing have no moves. I ran into bronze door last time and it KO'd me. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's only got one move. It has move. three status moves and one attacking move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I tested this before. Okay, I was like, does bronze door have moves? And it used... What the heck? It used extra sensory against you. Uh, this one just doesn't have extra sensory. <laughs> it's four moves. Level. <laughs> <laughs> I tested Bronze Door before just to like see like will it KO me turn one and it did. So I guess okay, Bronze Door's fine. And uh now here we are. Okay. Alright, I have a missile. Sylveon and it has Violet. Dazzling Gleam. Nice. Okay. That was uh Now little... I need to death hope. That was still better than walking all the way back from here, I promise. <laughs> the one benefit to having Grookie as a starter is that I can use Taunt to Death Warp. So it guarantees uh, me at, 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 at most two turns to Death Warp. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, actually, we didn't talk about this, but uh, for this rep, uh, like the starter choice matters for what Pokemon uh, like Hop chooses as a starter. Uh, and Leon has a different Pokemon at the end of the game, depending on what you choose. And no, also, unless it has counter, <laughs> that is not a fucking. That isn't. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> this green is just sitting here being killed by hail. Anyway, the point is, we all actually picked different starters for this round. So yes. I picked Sabo, Greta picked Score Bunny, Aspect picked Grookey. I picked Sabo because of uh, the Mystic Water is super helpful for, for Vaporeon, which I will be getting shortly. And a 50-50 chance of using counter or an attacking move. Once I had taunted it, and it used counter three turns in a row. Okay, I'm picking up uh, the maximum amount of X special attacks. Uh, pretty standard Pokemon speedrun stuff. X items are good. They raise their stats in battle. They're quite broken in this gen, case they raise them by two stages instead of one. Yeah, since Gen 7 uh, implemented that change, X items are insane. Especially when you get them for the same price as before, like Let's Go and VDSP. I try Let's Go is a good game. <laughs> and VDSP is also there. <laughs> <laughs> so true. VDSP has a little bit too much glue on the walls. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> VDSP glitch. But actually, honestly, I think VDSP is pretty fun. I really, it's really cool seeing like so much glitch stuff in a, a Switch game, and uh, and the glitchless route is actually pretty, pretty cool. Other than like one fight, it's pretty unique, yeah. Uh, do this. Okay. So I'll, I gotta do a menu and not forget it, because I will lose a lot of time if I forget to do this. Yes, please don't forget this menu again. <laughs> uh, again, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I Waterstone to get my Vaporeon. I'm going to equip the Mystic Water, and then I will teach Scald, which I got from the TR, and also I will teach Swift. Swift is a TM that you get from, that I got from Hop right before entering the wild area. Alright, that was based. Just hit the 11 and 16 on Nicket. You love to nice. see it. Oh, oh, I almost used the right candy by accident. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Yeah, so what a range is in this game. Basically, uh, Pokemon attacks in this game when they do the damage formula at the very end. It will calculate the damage and then the actual output will be anywhere between 85 to 100% of what the calculated output is. And that causes there to be 16 possible outputs. So when we say that there's something in 11 out of 16 range, it means 11 of those 16 outputs actually KO the Pokemon and five of them do not. 
Oh, we should explain our, our nicknames. <laughs> oh. I like VTubers. That's why I na named mine a fish VTuber. <laughs> mine is named Uni after um, best girl in Xenoblade 3. You should, you should play it. It's a good game. Mine is named Sylveon after the person <laughs> I'm using. <laughs> oh, I gotta think of a good number. Oh, oh, uh, 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 uh. Six. I, I need a good number as well. <laughs> uh, I'm not doing 69. I will do I will 17. Do. That's what Ranger said. Okay, 17. I'm 34. Okay, I'll do 34. Yeah, I did 489 because someone told me to. <laughs> Oh, you, you, you got, Greta, you, 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 you got given <laughs> the two cool numbers. <laughs> the, the funny. The funny, yeah, the funny, haha. Haha. -ha. Ha -ha. <laughs> Alright, I'm number 34. Anyways, it looks like we're, like, really far apart right now, because Glaceon has a really fast time in the wild area, and Sylveon has a really slow time in the area. <laughs> but it, it will it will somewhat balance out. Yeah. It won't, I don't, it won't, like, the routes don't balance out, like, exactly to the second, but they're decently close. Like, I'd say the three routes are within, a, like, a couple minutes of each other at most. Yeah, I think like at most probably like five minutes apart. Yeah. Alright, I have just obtained the ability to fly, and flying is very fast in this game, so you're gonna see it a lot. It's time for our good friend Hop. Yeah, we picked, for this race, we picked three evolutions that were actually, like, good. <laughs> I don't- I don't even mean good in, like, like, that I like. Although I do like the- the three Pokémon that we're racing here. But, uh, some of the evolution routes are a lot worse than others, I will tell you that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Umbreon is something. I've heard Leafy oh, a bunch I, of time. Hmm. I forgot that I didn't- that I actually, uh, switched Cookie out. Uh, oh. So I have a, I have a Grookey in this fight now. <laughs> Thank you. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So something else to mention, um, unintentionally. I don't I don't think we brought this up. Um, one of the rules in this category is you can only ever attack using your trade alt main. I did attack, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to die. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, if you're like death warping and you like use tackle on Mudsdale with your Wulu, like it's fine. <laughs> N no one cares. I don't care. I'll verify your run for you. Yeah, Greta's who I go to whenever I need a run verified. <laughs> <laughs> nice gold split. Yeah, I guess we could have done, like, pick the worst evolutions and do I a race. Would, no. I would no. <laughs> I would not do a race. Yeah, I, re I like Vaporeon a lot. I really think the, the route of, like, walking around the wider area and getting stalled is fun for me. And also Vaporeon's very chill. Hi. Like, it's mm -hmm. very, like, beginner-friendly. You don't have to worry too much about things. <laughs> I've made an error. Uh, did oh, you, you hit the schoolgirl? You didn't yes. hit schoolgirl, did you? Yes. Yeah, that squirrel girl, she looked like left and right on that route. And... Uh, you, you gotta just go. It looks scary, but you gotta just go. Yeah, the problem is, there was also a zigzagoon in the grass right after her. And you gotta run into the zigzagoon. Yeah, I know, but uh, it's <laughs> more complicated than that. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. I have plenty of time. It's true. Also, oh. hello, etiquette. 
Thank you for the raid. Uh, did we mention uh, the versions that we're running on? Uh, no, no we because not. it has not mattered yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll see it. You'll see it in a while from now. But uh, both me and Aspect are running on Sword, which is very often the faster version of the game. But uh, Greta's actually running on Shield for reasons yes. that you will see. Uh, Alistair and Melanie are very good for Glaciana compared to B and uh, what's his name, Gordy? Yeah, fighting That's hurts. <laughs> Fight, fighting hurts Glaciana a lot. Uh, yeah. Okay, I crit, I crit the Nicket. Hey, that must have done like six hundred percent damage. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the Sylveon has uh, has Pixelate as its ability, the hidden ability, which uh, converts all normal type moves into uh, fairy type moves, and also boosts their power by twenty percent. Uh, which is very helpful. The optimal raid den to get for this for Sylveon is Hyper Voice, uh, but it's a rare den and that only occurs in two locations. And only 50% of the Pokemon that spawn there are usable to get a uh, Hyper Voice. Uh, so it is far more inconsistent to actually get the raid den you want. And uh, so Hyper Voice gets boosted to 108 power, I believe it is. Alright, now I've finally got Fly, I will be heading to Hop 3. A lot of this early game for us, for all the routes, uh, is pretty like straightforward and easy, just like one-shotting things. Uh, for, oops, I hit Y by accident. For me, it's because I have Scald, and Scald is a very overpowered move at this point in the game. And for the other two Rakers, it's because they got a bunch of EXT candies from their raids, and so they're much higher level than you would normally be. And also we have strong moves. Because oh we yeah, also they have strong moves as well. <laughs> Nick, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you see I'm, I'm maining uni right now. This is Xenoblade. So they pour into Pokemon with a lot of HP and really good special attack. Um, its speed leaves something to be desired. So you'll just see a lot of random things outspeed me. Like that score bunny. Oh, you used a super effective move against score bunny, didn't you? Oh, I did. Yes. When you super effective moves against Hop, Hop loves to tell you how cool it is that you know how super effective move works in this game. <laughs> and he He's tells you in almost you. every single fight. He's just a supportive friend, you know? Yeah, but Hop, I, I didn't somehow forget about it. <laughs> in the time that we, we last fought. <laughs> like 10 minutes ago? <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm heading over to Route 3 now. No. No zigzagoons, no zigzagoons. Saying it like I'm a contestant on the... Uh, what's that show called? I... I was gonna make a joke and then I forgot the name of the show. Never mind. I don't, me. I don't watch TV. I press your luck. That's the <laughs> one I was thinking of. It would've been funny if I remembered it. <laughs> Yeah, this run's pretty chill though, so uh if y'all have anything you want to like anything you want us to clarify in the chat. Or if you just want to ask random questions too, I'm down for that. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they are appropriate, I will yeah. answer them. 
I I can ban you. I can do it myself. I'm fine, just getting through hop now. We end up hiding hop uh, seven times in this, or eight times if you include the first one that you don't see. Uh, in, that isn't included in time. Yeah, and uh, in like regular any percent, four of those five, four of those five, four of those eight are within like the first hour and ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, Eminem asked, so did you all choose which evolutions you ran, or did you draw straws or something? Uh, we chose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we kind of figured out which three we wanted to do, and it was like, well, neither of us, me and Amber, have ever done Sylveon, so that might not be a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> Kind of learned Sylveon, but uh, I'm not I'm not down for running to a berry tree <laughs> and hoping I get good berries for friendship. Which means it's so much fun. Yeah, it sounds like you had a lot of fun over there. I got two yeah. berries from the close tree. Oh, don't flinch me! Don't flinch me! Oh, yeah, they dig much faster than me, and I just astonished. Yeah, so here is another example of flying being so fast, I'm going to fly instead of walking back to the gym. And then it'll be, it'll be Wulu time. And I'll probably embarrass myself. <laughs> yeah. You have to take 20 Wulus, like, across the, the entire gym challenge, and, uh... The like zones at which they actually like move and don't move, and like the zones of the yampers that are supposed to like scare the Wulu are really like strange. Yeah, it it's weird. It's, it's not a good time. I'm definitely going to be taking the slow way um, in one of these because it's just, I don't want to mess with it today. It's not worth the pain. I'll, I'm gonna take the fast break, if I mess it up, it'll be a haha -ha funny stream moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never- I'm never gonna choose to throw for content. So, I'll just say I that I did. I burned by the Sizzlebeed. Oh. Ooh. Uh, I also used an special defense, because for some reason, my special defense are first. Oh. <laughs> I must have bought them first. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, I'll, I'll fix the ordering. X item, like the order that uh, items go into your inventory is based on just like when you get them. And it's like not super fast to change the ordering. So sometimes you like buy things in weird orders to make sure they go into your uh, your inventory correctly. Yeah, it's awkward to change where things are placed. Uh, X items. And I just favorite it and then um, sort by favorites first. That's a good idea. Never thought of that. Alright, Diglett, please don't flinch me. Nice. You scratch. Lucky you. Wish I could have not gotten flinched. It's fine, I'll be flinched four times on Marnie. <laughs> Same! Oh my god! Yeah, so here I'm taking the slow way because I'm scared. I probably could have gone, but it's I 
things things go wrong too often for me to even consider it right now. Yeah, so there's there's Wulu. So I don't understand how he does it, but Jordan is somehow caught up to this car call. Jordan <laughs> Jordan's a man of many talents. Jordan's played this game too many times. <laughs> no one should play as short as you as much as Jordan. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. Nobody should put themselves through the pain of running difficult routes like Jordan has. I was just say of running fucking of running the Arca drill. Like it, it's <laughs> it's it's bad. Yeah. Yet, Jordan has managed to catch up to that that um Karkul. I don't I don't know I don't know how. I've tried. I've gotten close a couple of times, but I've never actually gotten I have gotten, gotten close, yeah, yeah. But I've never actually caught up. Alright, Pokemon... Uh, so the Pokemon damage formula is... Um, strange, to say the least. Uh, because of rounding and flooring and all sorts of other stuff that it does, uh, any level that ends in 0, 3, 5, or 8 is a massive boost to damage. So just there, because I got extra EXP candies, um, I hit 18 before uh, beats uh, Gothita and Hatena, and it meant that I didn't have ranges uh, because of it. Yeah, so, so here oh, I, I I want to tell you about this fight, but I also know I'll jinx it if I talk about it. <laughs> let's just let's just hope nothing bad happens, okay? I'm hoping. I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah, for me, Porygon, you'd think like a grass gym against a water Pokemon would be really, really, really bad, but uh, it, you'd have to. It's actually pretty, like, safe unless you get very unlucky. Mostly because we use everything at our disposal disposal to use like as many get a, as much uh power as possible in the Mila fight. Yeah, I'm doing this kind of like weird zigzag when I'm uh moving up the woolers, and that's just so that they don't like spread apart too much. Yeah, that's what I do as well. I just end up zigzagging back and forth so I don't get too close to them. Yeah, I also I'll be using like the wall here, for example, so that I don't spread apart too much. The Wooloos really like walls. <laughs> <laughs> if you push moment. them into a into an angled wall, they will continue to roll along that wall for the entire duration of the wall. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, inertia. <laughs> It's a property <laughs> of matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're doing. Oh, I crit the gossip player, but it didn't matter. Okay, I think it's up a two shot anyways. Yeah, so um luckily I did not miss Icy Wind there. Um it would have been a bad time if I did. But I didn't, so everything's great. I double crit the gossip player. <laughs> Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> like, a uh, six second time loss for nothing. Uh, crits <laughs> from Gen 7 onward uh, do 1.5 times damage instead of 2 times. So, that's why it's normally a 2 shot and I still didn't 1 shot even with the crit. Okay, I'm gonna be trying to go for the fast strat in this game, which is kinda. Going kind of up the middle here. Uh, I always go for that. Yeah, I'm. Ooh, that was really good, actually. I normally normally I have a little bit more problems than that, but that went well. Except the wheelers are spreading apart now. <laughs> a rogue one got away. <laughs> it's fine. It wasn't that bad. I I saved it. 
Yeah, so there a second ago, um, you saw I passed those trainers. It's because it's a double battle, and I do not have two Pokemon. So I get to get to walk on by. It's pretty good. Everyone say hi to Greta's dogs. No, that's <laughs> Those aren't my mine. dog. Oh, look at your dogs. Yeah. I'm so used to hearing. I'm actually so used to hearing Greta's dogs that I just I just assumed. <laughs> hi, Aspect dogs. <laughs> yeah, Aspect dogs. I can tell are like big dogs, or bigger than mine. Not all that big. They're definitely bigger so, than mine. You can tell from yeah. the way they bark. Oh, close. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, there's a loud noise outside, so they have to bark their heads off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my Milo fight, uh, I use three special attacks to max out my special attack stages. Then I Dynamax. Then I use Max Geyser so that I can get Rain up. And then the Elder Goss is still a 13 out of 16 range. <laughs> so... Uh, if I miss it, I usually don't die, but you can die. That's why I save. One more special attack, then I will be healing. Fortunately, got Magical Leaf there, which is not great, but it's fine. My Wooloos went fine. Good job, good job. <laughs> there was no funny haha -ha moment to be had. Aww. <laughs> Maybe later we can have one. There was no sparkle ratio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, so Dynamaxing in this game raises your HP by at least 1.5 times. Uh, your and your move powers increase, generally. It doesn't increase any of the other stats. Okay, so in general, it'll increase the power of the, your moves by 50, unless it's a fighting or a poison type move, because they boost your uh, offensive stats. They only give you a 20 to 30 power increase. Yeah, and Dynamax moves generally have special effects, so when I use uh, Max Geyser, the water type one, it will set up rain. If uh, Elder Goth uses Max Strike on me, uh, it will lower my speed, and that means I'll actually be slower than Elder Goth. Dynamaxing, however, is like really slow. It takes, I think, I want to say like 28 seconds total. Yeah, 28 so sounds right. 20, 26 to 28 seconds. Yeah, so uh, you only, you generally only want to do it if it will save you like at least three turns in general. Anyways, I got my 13 out of 16 range, so Milo went absolutely fine for me. I'm just starting Milo now. I'm setting up two special attacks and then I'm two shotting the Elder Goss. Yeah, right there, I um, missed the range on Thwacky. It's 9 and 16. It's really annoying if you miss it because he hop heals. And then, you know, if he heals to full, then you can just miss it again. But he didn't heal to full, so we were good. <laughs> Coming on on my screen is first of all my favorite fly in the game because you fly to go like maybe twenty steps away from where you are. And then That's after, how fast flying is. Yeah. yeah. After I'm gonna go right, and there's gonna be a uh, kind of a reporter and a cameraman, and it looks like they should be seeing me and battling me, but they will not. Uh, the reason is that if you only have one Pokemon in your party, they just don't they don't battle you.
So Milo is going to be uh, really nice and give us the Magical Leaf TM, which is actually incredibly useful for Sylveon. Uh, it makes Nessa's gym very easy, and it also simplifies uh, Gordy's gym later on as well. So, getting a lot of Snarl from this fight here kind of sucks because Snarl lowers your special attack. Hopefully I don't get too many. Also, I believe I, I am dropping frames from my end, so I'm sorry if it looks like my screen is a slideshow right now. <laughs> I will see what I can do about that. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's not that bad. Alright, so it is Nessa's gym time, and this puzzle is a lot less annoying because it's just click some buttons. There's not much that can go wrong. Unless you hit the optional. Uh, well, I won't, so it's fine. The best part about having fairy moves for this game is that there are so many dark types lying around. Yeah. Um, it just makes these fights so much easier. Sorry to interrupt, but Amber, if you do want to restart, go ahead. And if it doesn't work, I can try stuff on my end. Okay, I do have one thing I will try on my end that might help. So I'm going to do that. Uh, you won't see my screen for maybe a minute, so... Don't worry, it's my end, it's not yours. Yeah, the good news is, since we have three uh, games on, on screen, you can, you can just look at one of the other ones, it'll be fine. So yeah, the bike in this game is actually really, really good to use. Unlike BDSP, whose bike handles just <laughs> terribly. So I'm just going into our next top fight now. Before the first gym, we fight hop four. No, for the second gym, we fight hop four times. And then we fight him another four times through the rest of the course of the game. <laughs> I cannot believe what just happened. I don't know that what was you do. that was that was traumatic. Please tell me if someone someone saw that. I paused oh, in like was, pure shock. Close. I paused in pure shock. That one's kind of close. <laughs> yeah. I've had that before. Uh, 
I am going to save before Nessa. Most likely, uh, it should be fine, but in case, you know, something cringe happens, I don't want to lose all my X items here. Yeah, losing the X speeds here is terrible. Yeah. Because we've only got access to two. Yeah, you can't buy anymore, so... If you die, you're just down in X speed. Need to remember that I need to pick up the X Special Defense. I bought two because I had the extra money. But I can still pick up one, so it's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, luckily there I did not get confused because I definitely would have had to heal that, and that is annoying. Mm -hmm. If you get confused, Heal it and then get confused again. It's uh, a bad time. You don't have anything to really heal it. <laughs> I after had that happen so many times when I was uh, <laughs> doing shield any percent. All right, it's big glaceon time. Oh no! Now my stream's getting weird. Okay. Oh yeah, it's getting getting real weird. All right, everything looks good right now on on the stream. You love to see it. Yeah, Nessus Gym is relatively easy for uh, all three of us. Yeah, it's not very ex What you're missing from my screen, is, I promise, is not very exciting. It's pretty much... I'm just going through the trainer doing the same gym puzzle that Greta just did. Uh, but then uh, Kabu's Gym becomes a little bit more problematic for, uh, for me. Uh, because I'm using fairy type moves, everything in Kabu's gym resists me. So we start having some issues where uh, we have to Dynamax to be able to two shot the uh, the ace for Kabu. It's doing some random story-ish cutscenes here. They, I don't think they actually matter. <laughs> they're, they're saying words. They're saying something. There, there are words. Um, yeah. What they're yes. saying. Yes. And I got, I got gifted a TM. Yeah, basically, Rose use. tells you, oh, there's some stuff about Dynamaxing in, uh, in Hamelock. Go there. And so Sonya's like, all right, I'll go there. 
Cool. <laughs> cool that, story. That, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, why did we need to see that? That's got nothing to do with us. At least, I think we get free food out of it. We're at the, the sushi restaurant. Trail. That's the reason I go to any gathering. Sure food. <laughs> Yeah, so there, she's got some healing items, got the X special defense, and now it is time to not hit an encounter and fight bead. I did not hit the optional in uh, Ness's gym this time. Nice. I'm just entering Nessa's uh, fight now. You can see I'm starting to catch up a little. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much y'all can see from my screen, if anything. But I am on Nessa's last Pokemon, the Dreadnought, right now. Yeah, it looks good right now. Kind of. <laughs> Mostly, kind of. It's alright. All you're missing on Amber's uh, screen, I can just tell you, you're you're missing them doing really good at the game. And oh yeah. That's you're, what you're missing. <laughs> you're missing out. You're totally missing out on me clicking stalled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get to click Dazz and Gleam twice and then Magical Leaf. Because cool, I'm trying cool to story. avoid <laughs> I'm trying to avoid super effective text. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tech is working hard right now to try to get everything running smoothly, so that of the tech for yes. for that. Doing tech for marathons is it's it's scary. That's I always it's, refuse to do it. I I'm have like I <laughs> for one small marathon, and it was the most. It was extremely stressful. So anyone yeah. who's like nice tech, I'm like, like I immensely like respect for. Yeah, I'm I'm too scared of being like the reason everything's broken. So I I always say no. Yeah, so, um, I see in the chat, the reason I have Glaceon so early is actually because, um, we are allowed to start out with the Ice Stone, because it it's a rule we added. Basically, it's it's one of those rules where it's like, you know, we want people to have fun. You know, speedrunning's supposed to be fun. So, <laughs> um, the Ice Stone is really late into the game, or you can get it from the Digging Duo, if, if you're lucky. <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> Um, so I just, I get to start with it because otherwise it would, this would not be fun. And there's some other, um, other items that have the same, same ruling going on. Yeah, it's practically any item you get from Hammerlock like, or later on. Like, do you get the apples from Hammerlock? Um, you get the shiny stone on uh, Route 8. I think the Dusk Stone doesn't have that ruling. I don't know the full uh, list. <laughs> yeah, they're like a really big list. There's a really, <laughs> really, really long list. About like, yeah. everything that you're allowed to do in your file, have in your file, what you're not allowed to do, stuff like that. But we basically just built the rule so that uh, if 
it would be the most fun for everybody. Yeah. Oh. I am dead. Uh, okay, Hop. Uh, the, what? Do, do your thing, Hop. <laughs> Come on. Willard <laughs> is hop. dead. Alright, Corvus Cor Cor got here. <laughs> Oh no, Corvus Squire has been tormented. How close is well, it to the end of the fight? It, yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Uh, I hit, I think, I hit Pancham once already, and Lipard is also out. So, Pancham is now dead. Okay. I'm just thinking about your experience. Yeah. You could... Pick up an extra, the extra, like, we're candy on Route 4. Oh. I did also fight that school girl. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. I don't think that's I'd... a little bit too early to, to matter. Yeah, I, don't, I, feel. I think I think it would have been uh, evened out by now. Yeah, I would get the Route 4 candy. Because you, like, for Glaceon has to be level 29 at the point in the notes that it says. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna flick back. I so say you'll see that a lot of the time our menus are incredibly quick. Uh, or at least uh, I'm using double inputs. Uh, I assume you guys are as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. So uh, double inputs are where we input on the D-pad and the right um, analog stick at the same time or just slightly delayed from each other, uh, and it inputs uh, two of them at two inputs at the same time. So we're able to uh, to just menu that little bit quicker. And it really adds up over the course of the game. Because for uh, any time we use an X item, we're doing at least two of them. <laughs> yeah, one to go down to the bag, and then one to go right over to the X item pocket. So I'm coming up to this uh, double fight with the Yalgren and with my partner Hop. My fight is basically just X special turn one. Uh, hope neither of the leads do something bad to me and then just scald everything. Hey, people use quick attack, which is actually really good. So I need these lick, just don't paralyze. It did not paralyze. Should I use this candy, like, right now, or, like, after I would wait Marnie? I'll until... uh, What level are you now? Yeah, what level are you? Seven? I will tell you when I'm in a fight. I'll probably just use it when you hit 28. Or when you, when you hit 20. Because you have to get to 29. When I 27, hit the next yeah. level. Yeah, yeah, 27. Yeah, I'm at 26. Okay. But it's like, it's not close. I've been paralyzed by Lanoon now. That seems unfortunate. That is very, actually. Did Hop manage really? to do something? Or... Uh, no, but got paralyzed. Bullied. Uh, yeah, I think Wulu is also sand attacks, so I'm having a time over here. Uh, so my find is significantly easier. I'm just pressing Dazzle and Gleam twice. Oh, oh, oh. Wulu lived on one HP. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I get fully. You get party healed after this fight, so I'm just gonna try to fight through the paralysis. 
Uh, I believe it's, is it one in three chance to be fully paralyzed in this game? Yeah, one in three. Yeah, so I, I think it's worth just fighting through it. Yeah, made it through. It's a Christmas miracle. I did not get uh, flinched on Marnie. Nice. And I hit my icy wind. I have just beaten the yell double. Wait, I just beat the yell double too. Alright, so should I just use both candies now? I'm at 27 now. Yeah. Okay. Got the fast cycle for the next uh, spinner. Oh, I don't even go for the fast cycle. If yeah, if you saw Aspect there, uh, like bike pretty fast and get by the spinner really quickly. If... I got lucky. The, the the spawn was a shallow far to the side, uh, to nice. the left side, so I could just boost as soon as I saw the encounter there. Yeah, I don't go for it because you're decently likely to hit an encounter there, and the time of the encounter is more than just waiting for the spinner. Marnie time. Please don't flinch me. Yep. For my Marnie fight, I'd use an X-Speed on this fight instead of... Kabu. So, I don't have to worry about flinch on this fight, but I will have to worry about a flinch getting flinched on Kabu when I get there. Yeah, you'll see me- if I miss my double input, then you'll see me just go into, like, the Pokemon menu there accidentally. I really need to start double inputting down afterwards. Oh yeah, yeah, I always just go down. It's so much easier for me. I double also, input up, um, which goes past the Pokemon menu, yeah. But if I go down, it just goes past run, so if it flicks back, then, uh, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It doesn't lose you as much time. I had to use Swift on that Krogunk, because the Krogunk has dry skin, which means water attacks don't do anything it's, against it. It's so annoying. <laughs> I flinched. Every flinch on Marnie uh, loses you so much more time because of, um, stand because of the uh, hunger switch. I got flinched again. I'm done Marnie now. Alright, I'm not flinched anymore. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I, I've like... I've seen people get flinched like four or five times in a row there, and it's miserable. Me. <laughs> and then, you know, you, you miss Icy Wind the one time you don't like flinch, you know. Yeah, it, Classic. Can, it can get pretty ugly pretty fast if you get very <laughs> unlucky. Yeah. Also, hello, T-Pat. So the original routing of Sylveon used uh, camping to get the friendship <laughs> required. <laughs> um, until May and I decided to look at it and go, oh, we can just use berries. <laughs> no more patting the Eevee. <laughs> So you got to see uh, Eevee attack the uh, the toy and jump up and down and feed it curry. Let me go back to that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Normalize doing unoptimal routes because they're cooler. That's what I do in three houses.
Now Unfortunately, I'm now the go. only run that uses uh, Pokemon Home, uh, Pokemon Camp, is uh, Get Oshifu. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm in Kabu's gym. Uh, as you can imagine, Kabu's gym is very easy for Vaporeon. Uh, I pretty much the only like bad thing that can really happen is just like getting flinched by Arcanine because it will be faster than me. Oh, also for the gym like kind of challenge here, uh, you have to like catch and defeat Pokemon to get like five points total. So uh, I use Quick Ball here to get 100% catches. Also, so yeah, I can you have don't get the beautiful quick balls, lit look in my party. If you don't get quick balls, uh, the next best thing is some uh, net. Uh, was it the nest walls? Yeah. Uh, which are like eighty percent or less to get in. I don't think it's that high. <laughs> I remember it being really bad, but it might maybe be like I'm making 60%. that up. Maybe I'm thinking of like pokeballs or something being really bad. Um. The um, the other option is there's some uh, net balls in uh, Holbury which we can pick up, um, and uh, Sizzlepede is ninety five percent to get into that. For more big Glaceon. This will hopefully be the one and only time you see Big Sylveon. <laughs> you won't be seeing Big Vaporeon here. Sorry, let me think. What, do you see Big Vaporeon in the rest of us run? I think you uh. do. You don't Dynamax on Raihan, you can't Dynamax no. on Piers. Do you Dynamax for Rose? I don't think so. No, I don't. So now you won't see Big uh, Vaporeon? Yep, if you didn't see it for during Milo, you missed your one shot. You gotta go back and watch the VOD now. Oh. Yeah, fire types resist fairy, so this fight I do have to Dynamax to be able to, uh, to win it quickly. I got a very unusual quick attack turn one. Normally, oh. uh, this Ninetales just goes for Willow Wisp right away. I got quick attack as well. Huh. Very strange. Okay, don't flinch me, please. Okay, good. No flinches on Arcanine. Nice. Oh, I got crit by Fire Spin. That was nice. And there goes Tabu for me. So I'm just Dynamaxing now. I defeat the uh, Arcanine and then two shot the uh, Sense Scorch. Yeah, 
I've got more than enough health. Now I have Misty Terrain. Max Starfall sets up Misty Terrain, which is not useful in any way. <laughs> and it's it's pretty. <laughs> So now I'm going to be setting up for another death warp, so I'm actually just going to throw in <laughs> my uh, level 3 Wululian. <laughs> and then after this cutscene, I'll be doing a death warp and then going to the entrance for a hammerlock. Oh my god, I saw that, Greta. <laughs> you having a time over there? <laughs> I like... Like pixel perfect missed the hitbox on Garboder and just <laughs> went zooming on by. It's so huge. How did you <laughs> miss it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I've I've made it past the death warp. Um if you saw the option to get to Hammerlock is in the middle there. Um so you can definitely accidentally hit the wrong thing and then you are sad but i will not be sad because i i did it <laughs> i'm always worried when i do that death warp it's scary the I most annoying shield it, pb has it has so. me messing <laughs> that up the most annoying thing about it is actually that normally like on a lot of tech projects like that you can just like mash b and then pressing b will do nothing but B on that text box actually makes it so that you don't warp anywhere. Yeah, you say no. So, you gotta like actually like count the text boxes and make sure you go down one, per se. I'm gonna ram right into Garbodor's butt. <laughs> Good. Got card one. Move that coyote. Right. I did not warp incorrectly. Right there, also, you probably might have noticed that I kind of turned around kind of slowly on the bike. That's because if you try to, like, go full speed on the bike and do a one like a 180 turn instead you'll do like this huge like wide turn around and then you get like a really awkward angle and trying to control it from there is quite annoying yeah just do like a slow turn around it's honestly faster in the long run Yeah, so right here I'm going to attempt to uh, choose the second option while talking to Leon to get a little tiny time save. What is it, like two text boxes we save? Something like that. All I know is that it's 0.9 seconds, so two text boxes sounds right to me. Yeah, and there I bought some more X items. And now I'm going to pick up this rare candy and the wise glasses. And then hopefully not forget to put them on. And then, you know, get stuck on the wall. <laughs> okay. Loading zones are really long in Hammerlock. So sometimes, like, you'll see a black screen for, like, 10, 15 seconds. <laughs> it's not just, it's not the screen messing up, I promise. It just, it takes a really long time sometimes. We'll come back to Hammerlock later, and I'll point out the, the longest one in the game. <laughs> so long. I don't know why. It's loading I a was tiny like, room. I was like stretch during it, you know, sit back. Uh, it's right loading here, the smallest room. <laughs> right here, I'm going to pick up some extra X items. 
these are actually really well, I was not able to buy in Motostoke, so I'm gonna get them now. Particularly the X speeds are the most important ones. Okay. Important after when you fly over to left hammerlock, you wanna remember to put your main Pokemon back in the party. Yes, that is very important. Yep. If not, <laughs> you'll enter the next fight with uh, a uh, like level five Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Luckily for me, I have to put on an item, so it's kind of hard to forget unless you forget both things. You can just put the item onto your uh, Wulu or starter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm about to buy my uh, extra X items as well. I need to buy three guard specs and uh, eight X speeds. Ooh, I saved 0.9 seconds. Yay! Yeah, we all did it. Mm -hmm. Go team. <laughs> Exactly a co-op run, if you didn't know. <laughs> Fun fact. Yeah. Back to, back to joke, by the way, just to, just to <laughs> clarify. <laughs> okay, and finally, after all those pet scenes, we're about to get into the more fighting. Uh, this route is not great for Vaporeon because there is constant harsh sunlight which reduces its water type moves. Um, it's like fine though, usually. There is one fight on this route that uh, can always just just ruin your your day and it's completely unpredictable. <laughs> Can't wait. I assume you're at least close to that, if not there, Greta. Uh, yeah, I'm about to start the fight before it. Okay. Yeah, for me, I'm going to be using uh, X specials on these grunt fights to kind of counteract the the sun. I'm just talking to Sonya in uh, Hammerlock now. She's talking about this great evil event that happened ages ago that two kings uh, protected the land from. A sword and a shield. Well, I wonder oh, what that has to do with this game. It's like the name of the, of the game! <laughs> oh my Roll God. credits. <laughs> oh, I just taught Aurora Beam there. Uh, that's gonna be, uh, this is, this is gonna be my final moveset now. I'm gonna be using Scald, Swift, Helping Hand, and Aurora Beam. You're gonna be using Helping Hand? Yes, I will be. We'll talk about that when we get there, but it's something I actually haven't tried before. It's always good to do in a marathon run. Are you actually gonna do it? Yeah. Yes, I'm actually gonna do it. Whoops, that's not the button. I guess, yeah, it's certainly better for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I healed there even though my health was already pretty high because this fight is the metronome fight and if luck is not on my side, I might need that extra 19 health or whatever. 
We'll see what happens here. Leaf tornado. <laughs> oh, scary! That's, that's something. <laughs> I feel like you got leaf storm last time. Something leaf. Okay, and then the next one was bone rush. Oh, that's slightly more scary. That's just annoying. <sighs> Hit four times. Yeah, last time I think I got Petal Dance. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, for me, I'm at 27 HP right now, so I definitely need to heal before the Metronome fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wanted to use the Scream to look at my health. Oh, I still can. I can. <laughs> uh, I'm at 73. That's fine. Ah! Ugh. Uh, this? Alright, my turn. I'm going to be giving the Clefairy one turn and the Clefable one turn, so... Obviously the Clefable is more powerful, so hopefully it doesn't ruin my day. Yeah, there, sadly, I have hit um, a Doug Trio, which is annoying. Yeah, very annoying, especially when 50% of the time they've got Arena Trap. Yeah, I don't- I, did, I didn't even look, honestly. I probably should've, but you know. Oh. They're also worth a lot of XP. I should okay. probably heal for the uh, metronome fight. On the bike. Why did that not one-shot? Whatever. And Clefay will use Iron Defense. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was pretty smooth for me. Honestly, half the time I see Clefairy use a move, and I don't know what the move is. I think it used a <laughs> Prismatic Laser, I think. Oh. Oh, that's uh, Necrozma's. Um, yeah. Oh, Necrozma's, Gen 7. Oh, um, that's why yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> It did 20 damage to me. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I tried to something, something else that's like barely ever relevant, but you know, it could be, is um, I believe those Clefairies are, are female. So if they roll something like a tract or whatever, it's better if you are also female. But that like barely comes up. But you know, technically it's better, so. Oh, I got smoke screen from coughing. Oh, that is unfortunate. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying to hit stalls on this. Uh... Uh, yeah, they also have cute charm, so if you're using a physical move and yeah. you don't one shot them, yeah. Uh, it... My one oh. metronome move right. was rest. Oh, great. <laughs> Okay, I only have to hit one more scald. Go. Alright, good. Hit them both. No problems for me. <laughs> right. Oh, Maractus, why are you there? Maractus was right at the top of the ladder. Um. Uh. Right. Yeah. Oh, I also got smoke screen. However, it does not matter for us, because we are using uh, infinite accuracy moves. We use Swift on Coughing and Magical Leaf on Pseudobudo. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so for my fight here, I'm actually going to be two-shotting this Clamorant, which is really bad. Because if it uses Dive when it's under half HP, it will... It, it's like ability, meaning that it... 
I don't know what it like puts a Pikachu in its mouth or something. And then when you KO it, it will paralyze you. And uh, luckily I did not get dive on the bat turn, so. Yeah, so here in this town is um, one of our two... Uh, oh, I'm about to like cough, okay. <laughs> one of our two version exclusive gyms. So I will be here in the ghost gym with our friend Alistair. And uh, they'll be doing B. So you can, you can get some dis different get... scenery. Unfortunately, I had to go and get the uh, rare candy. Uh, cringe. Yeah, the gym. I need to do some calcs to know I can skip it. The gen puzzles themselves between the versions are pretty much the same. Uh, but the uh, like the specific Pokemon that trainers have will be different. Yeah. Usually Shield is considered the slower version because um the first trainer in the gym has one extra Pokemon in Shield. And the Mimikyu that Alistair uses has disguise, which means you have to at least two turn it. Yeah. But uh, Glaceon does not do well against D, and also has Shadow Ball, which is obviously very good when you're up against a ghost type gym. Oh, this is awful. Oh no, what happened? Did you get the slow spins? It was just bad. <laughs> I feel like sometimes the teacups decide that they want to spin slower. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I feel that. Like, sometimes it'll react instantly, and sometimes it just won't do anything yeah. when you're trying to move. Yeah, I'm about to come up to the tea cu the first teacup, and when I do the teacups, I, like, put my palm on the stick, like Mario Party oh. 1 style. No, you're not Why? supposed to do that. There's but, a warning now. Yeah, <laughs> I, can get, I can get my gloves from Nintendo. Uh, I just find it easier to control. Like that. Except I've like moved my thumb and I found it way harder. So I've just finished the hop fight, so I'm just about to enter the bee's gym as well. The bee. The bee. <laughs> the bee. <laughs> okay, I, this first one looks the easiest, but it's honestly the hardest. Because you have to go like back and forth so many times. Yeah, I'm so sad. I usually do so good. That was okay. I just like sucked that time. That was clean though. That wasn't too bad. Uh, so there's there's two chances for us to lose time in, in B's version of the gym. There's uh, a Farfetch and a Surfetch, both of which no detect, uh, which just wastes the turn. So we're really hoping to not see that. Now I'm that I mentioned it, we will the... see that. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming up on the Farfetch uh, right after this key cut puzzle. Oh, okay, not really a puzzle, it's more like a challenge, I guess. I don't know. I spun a little bit earlier than I meant to, which means I'm kind of bouncing around there now, but that's fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. I only bonked twice. Nice. Aspect jinxed it for me. 
you can get double attacked, which is very unlikely and very um, sad so if it happens. I have a friend who got triple protect there. Oh, oh I've never seen triple. Yeah, I've seen double Bree, once or twice. Bree got, Bree got triple detect <laughs> there. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, right, so well, as it. you can tell, all these fights have been quite easy because Shadow Ball is good. And that's that's gonna continue here for Alistair. I did not get detect on the far fetched. Nice. Alright. Did he gotta... you get the skip? Nope. Mm, no. I tried and missed it by a lot, so I didn't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my B fight is interesting. So, uh, it's pretty standard up until I get to the Gigantabax Pokemon Machamp. Uh, and I'm gonna be two-shotting Machamp. Uh, just because I'd have to- I'd have to waste two extra turns if I want to one-shot it, so it's not worth it. But uh, Scald has a 30% chance to burn, and the Machamp has Guts. And Guts means that if it's status, it's, uh, it will, first of all, ignore the, the, the fact that burn is supposed to half your attack. And it will also uh, make it so that it can attack you 1.5 times more damage to you. And uh, that can be a problem, depending on your HP value. I'm going to try to take it safe and just, like, Heal the fall before KOing the hitmon top. But you you can get supremely unlucky and die, even if you're super high HP. Which may or may not have happened to me my last run. <laughs> uh, so I didn't get the skip either, but what can happen is you can skip the last lot of uh being knocked around. Uh, it's actually <laughs> slower to do so. <laughs> okay, I didn't die. <laughs> I got crit by hitting on top revenge. Oh. Uh. And lived at 4 HP. Yikes. Yeah, so this hit on top has the ability technician, which boosts any pa any uh, move uh, whose power is lower or equal to 60. Okay, I'm do this. It- I cannot believe it crit again. It crit you again? It crit me again. I'm gonna heal again. Okay, I need to be like decent HP going into camp. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Hopefully we don't see any crits on the champ. I already got two on Hatman on top, and I feel like- Why would you say enough. that? <laughs> I, I think that's more than I think I will get detect on the surfetched and that will balance my luck out well enough to not get crit on the camp. You got this. Honestly, the real answer is just don't burn my champ. <laughs> make like barely even a problem. I only have to set up one turn here. Uh, I did not on, get the tech uh, on surfetched. On B, but I do have an 87.5% to Oko the Machamp. Is it bad if you miss that? Uh, well, Max Strike does at most 69 damage. Nice. <laughs> um, so as long as you're like above that, it's fine. I didn't get a detect on uh, Surfetched. Nice. I also didn't get Bullet Punch from Pangora, which is really nice. Oh, I feel like I don't normally see that. 
No, you don't see it often, yeah. but it is super effective against Sylveon. Mm, yeah. Full of punch is a uh, priority move. I have burned the mechanic, but it's <laughs> Oh my god. Burn is 30%, but is 100% when it's bad. <laughs> It's kind of crazy how go. it works like that. Very similar occurrence that happens in Pokemon Let's Go. <laughs> and I got the range from a champ. Nice. Okay, so the next fight that I'm going to be doing is bead uh, three. I almost said two. The <laughs> third bead fight. And uh, I'm actually going to be... Uh, I need to set up one X special attack at some point in the fight, but instead of doing it on the first Pokemon, I'm actually going to do it on the second one. Because I can already one-shot the Pokemon without the X special attack. And uh, its first Pokemon, Duosion, has a light screen, which... Uh, make it so that uh, Beach Pokemon would take half damage from special moves, and they would be quite bad for me. I unfortunately have to set up on the Duosion as I cannot kill it in one shot. I don't have to set up at all. <laughs> yeah, when you, uh, <laughs> when you have Shadow, Shadow Ball. Ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, luckily there I did not end up confused, because that would have been a bad time, most likely. Oh yeah, I didn't mention it, but I did get confused on bead too. Uh, gross. I know. Yeah, the ponyta has like pretty decent speed, and then confusion is I I believe ten percent to confuse. I could be picking that up. Uh, confusion is thirty percent, I think. Thirty, okay. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, when you set up on the second Pokemon, uh, bead has like a little cutscene before you see its move, but it's still better than the chance to get light screen. Uh, I did not get light screen, I got side shot. Nice. What that's what you wanna see. So I didn't have to set up another X special. the Gothorita. It's three seconds lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Luckily on the bead fight, you don't get like a cutscene with bead telling you about crits or whatever. Yeah, so right there you saw again um, passing a double battle because I do not have two things in the party. But in that instance, there is a different way you can go through the forest that doesn't have you pass those two people. But I, I think it's slower. It's like I'm sure it is. Slower. It's like a second it's or two not, slower. Yeah. Yeah, the bike in this game is pretty fast. Mm So now we're going into Opal's gym, which uh, is just quiz time. Quiz time. I like I like the first quiz because there's no wrong answer. <laughs> I like That's quizzes where one. there's no wrong answers. 
I can't believe Pokemon Sword and Shield took the GDQ hotfix show, Think Fast, and just, like, copied it. <laughs> Shout out to Korame and Swoosh. Korame is actually uh, a Sword and Shield uh, runner. Actually, I, uh, I'm pretty sure at least helped with a lot of the routing for Sylveon. If not, did most of it. I'm not sure. Uh, so, uh, Vu and myself did most of the routing. May did a lot of the formatting on the notes. Mm, okay. Um, and also she gave me the idea for, for Berry Trees. Which then changed a lot of the EXP routing, because uh, Camp actually gives you a decent amount of EXP in the early game. Oh, interesting. And so a lot of the things that were uh, guaranteed to kill became uh, rangers. I hate to see it. Yeah, I like my Opal gym fights because it's uh, spam scald. A big <laughs> theme of the Vaporeon route. It's almost like scald is a really strong move that's also stab. Yeah, almost. Yeah, uh, the only range is that this spritzy here is an 11 out of 16 for me. Hopefully I get it. I have an 18% on the spritzy. <laughs> good luck, good luck, I believe. Alright, I missed Icy Wind. I think that might have been my first miss. Really? I'm not sure. It's fine, you'll miss four blizzards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably five, actually. Also, right there, I um, taught freeze dry. Freeze dry is very good. You will, you'll see it a lot. I wish I got a good move at level forty. <laughs> I don't you even know skill what... swap. <laughs> I don't know what mine is. I'll let you. I'll let you know. But yeah, I basically just, uh, went into just two-shotting, uh, the Aromatise and the Gardevoir. Instead of using an X-Item. Oh, well that's why. <laughs> Hit the 8 and 16 because I crit. Love to see it. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, like when we say our damage range is out of 16, that doesn't include the chance to crit, so if you crit, I mean, then it doesn't matter. Go. It's that easy. <laughs> uh, okay, this Morgrim coming up on my screen is very annoying. It has Fake Out. And it also has the ability Prankster, which means the status moves have priority. And it has Flatter, which sharply raises your special attack but makes you confused. Which actually, if I don't hit my Shelf in Confusion at all in the fight, is actually faster. Because it means I can one-shot the the uh, Gardevoir. Okay, alright. Get in the optimal fight. We're gonna get the optimal fight. Gotta mm. not hit myself on Gardevoir, and then I can one-shot it. You seem very, very convinced about that. <laughs> yeah, I do. It is only a 33% to hit yourself in confusion. <laughs> only 33. Yep. Yep. It used to be 50%. Oh, it, I didn't one-shot. Never mind. I lied. 
Oh, that's now got that confusion. Okay. Still optimal. Ignore the fact that uh, I I forgot the cow. I did not get any flatter. Me when I don't get poisoned and everything's great. And Gardevoir <laughs> did not uh, mystical fire. So I did not lose. So I did manage to one shot the Gardevoir as well. Oh, I forgot to check my HP. I'll just take the couple second time left to check it. Okay, yeah, that's enough. That's fine. Yeah, so here I just spam freeze dry and then eventually I'll win. Hopefully you get the two shot. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, Weezing uh, has Sludge, and generally you have to set up on the Weezing. And Sludge is 800,000% to poison you, so... It hasn't happened to me this time or last time. Wow. <laughs> I did get Sludge both of those times. Yeah, this Weezing's moveset is not particularly great. It has Sludge, Fairy Wind, and Tackle. So you're <laughs> going to be seeing Sludge most of the time. Come on! Uh, did you get poisoned first? Yeah, time? I did. <laughs> it happens every time. Uh, for Sylveon, we used to teach Misty Terrain just to not get poisoned. Uh, then I, I decided that was slow and got rid of it. <laughs> oh, my level 40 move is Muddy Water. Apparently. Oh. I have stalled that, so I mean, like, no point in teaching Muddy Water. But it's a spread move! True. You're also not 100% accurate. I think I hate it. Uh, so I didn't get poisoned. Alright, so now I gotta... ...deal the poison. On this Pokemon, uh, this one. Luckily, I did two shot there, thankfully. Otherwise, it would have been annoying because it's slow. Oh, I didn't say it. Wait, I don't think we said it out loud, but when you answer a question correctly, uh, you get like stat boosts, and if you answer it wrong, you get uh, stat your stats decreased. Yeah. There's there's some routes where it doesn't matter, so you'll just like click whatever's at the top. Yeah, for mine, I say I cor answer correctly to the second question, to and then this Togekiss does less damage. I also answer correctly for the first question to get the speed increase, so I don't have to X speed in this fight at all. Yeah, right here you want to say no to Opal. Um, because there's an extra cutscene if you do decide to go with her to Hammerlock. She also flies you to the wrong Pokemon Center. This is also true. <laughs> and she also walks so slow. Yeah, see, they like, they tried to pull like a ha ha ha, she's old, look at her walk slow, she's old. But it's just annoying. <laughs> it's literally just annoying. Unfortunately for me, so after it's after like a specific number of turns that Opal will ask each of her questions. And because I had to heal the poison and then heal my HP as well, uh, I took up enough turns so that Opal asked me the third question. But uh, each question actually takes a decent amount of time, so... Yeah. I not only lost the turn, but lost the question time as well. So it's very bad to get poisoned. <laughs> Anyways, I am through with Opal now. I am also through Opal. You guys are like on the same exact thing. Yeah, we are going to diverge very quickly because I actually have to go back to Motostoke to buy some extra X special attacks. And I do not. I had I uh, I sold some quick balls to uh, be able to afford all my X special attacks in one go. Yeah, if I I would need 
uh, like 15,000 more money at the start of the run to be able to afford all of them at once. So it just worth it at that point to just go back and uh, do it later. I'm currently staring at Wob Hyper. I love it so much. <laughs> it's so chat. good. <laughs> really good emote. That's my favorite cutscene in the game. Pink. Me when I see pink. Same. <laughs> Although I'm, I'm like positive he's not even wearing pink. It's like magenta. He's not wearing pink. He's not. <laughs> it's magenta at best. So after a whole bunch of cutscenes uh, that I'm sure we're all going through right now, uh, I will we'll be coming up to the sixth top fight in the run. Well, the fifth one in this run, plus the one that we do to set up the file. Uh, this fight is probably the scariest fight in the game for me. Uh, it leads a Trevenant, which yeah, is a Brax scary. type. Uh, I have to set up two X Special Attacks and an X Speed. Me too. And also, uh, Trevenant normally tries to confuse you, so I'll have to heal that as well. Yeah, I got confused on turn one. So, optimally, I only have to use uh, an HP healing item once. Uh, there's a decent chance I'll have to use two, though. Yeah, I'm very I happy. Confusion. Oh, nice. I, I got hit down yeah. to 57, and I need to be above 56 if I want to be completely safe for Snorlax, so that's very convenient. Well, completely safe is, uh... Well, you know, like, eh, you know. It won't happen. It's only 1 in 24. <laughs> See, it didn't happen. <laughs> Alright, good. Yeah, if Trevenant... Trevenant definitely has, like, multiple turns that if it crits, I will just die. Is this also one of the... Our first top fights where Hop likes to talk about crits. Um, and also, he, his uh, Trevenant has a high crit rate move. You know what, actually, I'm gonna save for this fight, because it's gonna be annoying if I lose these X items. I think the nicest thing about Sylveon is that I don't have to hear Hop talk about type matchups. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, also, you'll notice that the, the in-game timer is, like, significantly more than the time that you see on the screen right now. That's just because it took us time to set up the file for the trade alt main. Because we start, uh, about 17, 18 minutes into the game. Oh, are you gonna want those quick balls? Uh, that would be nice. I missed that again. Where are they? They are after the spinner dude. Off to oh. the right, in the yeah, grass. Yeah, yeah. I... Okay, so I didn't get confused right turn one. I got confused right turn one. Uh, I got confused yeah. right turn two. <laughs> you actually see all of us catch a Pokemon on this route. Uh, yeah. We need another Pokemon for Piers and... Uh, Raihan's gym, and this is just a really nice yeah, place to get one. I have to, I have to heal that. Hornleash dies 66 to 78 HP, so I was like a little over 50% to die if I just went for that. And now I got a heal fusion. Alright. Now I can sweep. So I didn't get any crits. 
Oh yeah, for on this fight, uh, if Hop crits you, Hop also does like, a little cutscene where he talks about like, wow, I'm so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's because the Trevin also has a Shadow Claw, which is yeah, a which high crit move. move. Yeah. 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 Even though I I only need to catch one more thing, and I do have one Quick Ball. Uh, not everything on the, the next route is like guaranteed to get in with a Quick Ball. So it'd be nice to have a couple extra just in case something goes poorly. I'm going to catch this Pawniard. I do know there is another Pawniard in the grass right ahead of me, and it's like right in the middle, so... Be, be cautious. Yeah, the bike has a much larger hitbox than walking. Yeah. Uh, it has got a much larger hitbox than you'd expect as well. I'm gonna get off here. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the differences between sword and shield is that on this on Route That's Eight, close. <laughs> uh, Boldor is thirty percent and Girder is ten percent, while it's the opposite in, in sword. I hope I said that correctly. You did. It's yeah. It's sword. Girder is thirty. Uh, Boldor is 10, and girders are way harder to dodge. Yeah. yeah uh, I they run win. fast, and they aggro to you. Uh, I'm not used to getting this item over here, so I accidentally ran into a Galantula, but it's not a huge deal. Oh yeah, get get the Pixie Blade this time, Aspect. Uh, I will, I will. Please run away. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, in case, we po in case the Pokemon we use are slow, sometimes it's like hard to get away from things. Yeah. I have so many girders in my way. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I had one girder. It didn't notice me, so everything was great. No encounters. Oh, I'm gonna talk it tomorrow. I want a pony it. I got the talk. I get the talk tomorrow. So talk tomorrow is the one thing on this route that's 100 percent to get into a quick ball. Yeah, I saw a pony right away, so I just went for that. Toka Tomorrow is better for me, so maybe I, I could have waited for it, but Toka Tomorrow is not that likely. It's and I don't want to be waiting at the end of the route trying to get something, so... Yeah, I played kind of risky there. Because I really wanted Boldor. Oh, there's but... a Boldor right there. Boldor would have been good. And a Toka Tomorrow right there, yep. <laughs> right after. <laughs> Those are both be better like than Toka, but it's not a huge deal. I'll leave a little <laughs> bit of time. Okay, I'll, I'll put an extra safety Pokemon. Also, here is the other uh, version exclusive gym. I'm here in the ice type gym. And going to hopefully, hopefully, do the trainer skip. I, do, I don't know if I got that. I yes. dodged all of the Pokemon, all of the girders, and then I hit a soul rock at the end. <sighs> okay, that looked better. Yeah, so once you um, get on the platform, it'll basically put a checkpoint there, and if you fall, you will end up there. So that's how you skip that trainer. Mm -hmm. Second try See if I actually do it this time. <laughs> yeah, it, it generally, like, if you are if you practice it, you can get it pretty consistently. Yeah. But, uh, uh, both me and Aspect, uh, actually missed it our last runs, and you can, it's one of those things that you kind of, like, get the yips for, like, once, like, you kind of got, like, you build a muscle memory, and then if you mess it up, then you start questioning yourself too much. So hopefully yeah. I get it. Uh, I got a girder, like, in that, like, little tiny area with the hyper potion, so there was no... I had no a girder there that. as well. Oh. But it oh aggroed onto me when I was walking around. So oh, it nice. aggro... So it walked into the... Basically directly into the hyper potions. Yeah, unfortunately... And so I could get past it. Getting on ladders is hard. Uh, unfortunately, It my, is very difficult. My rep's not great like, right now. Unironically, it's difficult. All right, not bad. Uh, yeah, so I missed the skip one time, but other than that, it was it was pretty perfect. Now the Gordy fight's actually pretty bad for me because Colossal is a fire type, so it resists uh, my uh, fairy moves. Uh, but it shouldn't be too bad. I just need Shuckle to cooperate.
Yeah, I am going to save here because if things go wrong, they will go very wrong. I don't think okay. that was enough. I need my items. It was. Oh, nice. I did the skip. Nice. <laughs> I didn't just walk directly into a vision without <laughs> trying. Trying to cut the corners too much, and I walked into another uh, hole. Yeah. Normally, I'm like not nervous for this, but like when I, I just like I messed it up last time, so now it's like, all right, <laughs> try my best. I need to equip the pixie fight before Gordy. Hmm, I actually don't know if I went far enough there. Ooh. I, I did. I was wondering right. why that did so much damage. That crit. Got it. I'm also going to be trying to go for uh, another little time save. So if I do all my movement here uh, perfectly, uh, I can take a little shortcut past the center in the last kind of like area here. I'm going to save a couple of seconds. Yeah, I didn't Hello, do that. Hello, wave I, warrior. I fell in uh, the second puzzle, so I didn't know where the spin the cycle would be. Yeah, I don't, I don't even bother with that. It's too scary. I don't like it. It's like gonna give me like heart palpitations if I try to do it. Welcome everyone from the raid. Uh, Hello. Right now we're doing an evolution trade alt main race. So I am using Vaporeon. Greta is using Glaceon. Aspect is using Sylveon, and we are trying to use the Pokemon to get through Sword and Shield as fast as we can. We are we are gaming. <laughs> yep, and if you came from Wavestream, you probably already know this, but uh, just like to shout out that Wave is doing a run for this marathon tomorrow. Uh, Emerald glitch, I think. Right, now I would really like Shuckle to cooperate here. Uh, Shuckle can use Power Split. If it does that, then I have to spend a turn swapping out. Okay, looks like it's not going to do it. If it's going to do it, it should do it on turn one. Hey. I have successfully made it through Melanie. I did not get Qmax Resonance this time. Also, Glaceon matches the gym. So, that's just- I'm, I'm just cool. I'm just really cool. That's all. Saved 43 seconds by not getting Shimax Resonance. Nice. Yeah, so here, um, did you miss Hop? It's, it's been a while, I mean. It's been like half an hour. Like, it's, wow, it's been it's so been, long. It's been a real it's been long like, time. It's been like 10 minutes. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Yeah, if you missed him, well, boy, do I have good news. <laughs> yeah, my Gordy fake really simple. Just a special once and sweep. Need to make sure you do the XD face. What do I do to make it happen? It's the third option in the 
when you're talking to Sonya about the, the posters? Oh, I already didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I right, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Yeah, there's like 50 trillion different like option things during this cutscene. Nice, right, so I got Max Flare, which is really nice. That saves time over G Max Volklift because he doesn't talk about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, when the gym leaders use their like special G Max move, they have a little cutscene where they talk about the move and how cool about, it is. About something. In general, people just like talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, this game is definitely an extrovert. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Alistair. True. Oh, something else that I also find funny is um, you actually get two free heals in a row. Um, because you get it for beating the gym and then Sonya just gives you one. So, you know, if you did anything during the time you walked from the gym to the, <laughs> to the restaurant, there you go. What if I trip and fall and, like, I, I hurt myself a little bit? <laughs> yeah, it's probably slippery here. True. So I just dump all my rare candies into Sylveon right now. Uh, this means that I hit level 50 at the exact right time. The Pokemon before we need to use it. So I'm going to make sure I select the third option here for the posters. It's very important. I got the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time you have, you've ever done it, huh? That's true, yeah. I mashed B so that I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> I probably like lost a second on text boxes. Yeah, optimal mashing in this game, so both, uh, well not both, all oh, of uh, G, L, Z, R, A, and B advanced text. So generally what you do is you hold one of them and then mash two or three of them. And whatever way to do that is the most comfortable, comfortable for you. That's what I. That's what you do. <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm having an Engl like English is hard. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> that's why I have yeah, a few I... other pe people here with me. <laughs> <laughs> I hold um, the right trigger and mash left trigger and A. Yeah, if I have to press A, I will do that. Um, but otherwise, I actually find it more comfortable to match A and B with my two thumbs. Yeah, I I hold B and mash the triggers. Um, I do know, like, for a fact, that is not the fastest way for me to do it. Um, but I just don't want to hurt myself. I'm not trying that hard. I don't need <laughs> to do, like, perfect mashing. So I just kind of take the, like, little time loss to not break my hand. Also, if mashing is a big deal for you, you can just do turbo. I got crit by yeah. double. Oh. Oh, nice. Dang, I wanted to look at my health, but I have an ad, so my screen is like the size of... I don't even know what. It's so tiny. I'll just look anyway. Uh, yeah. That's... I need to heal. I have an aggressive double this time. Oh, mine defense crawled after treading both two turns in a row. Yeah, right here you can dodge this. It trainer. growled the last turn. <laughs> nice. Yeah, one really big advantage of Glaceon compared to the other two is that it hails for this hot fight and the next fight, and uh, Glaceon doesn't have to like go through that, got hit by hail, and then yeah. go through the damage. That will also be relevant on a route uh, after we beat the final gym leader. Mm -hmm. The next route after this one. True, wow. Alright, I have to remember to get the candy. Oh, 
Oh, it was so close to dying to the hill. So it was an, so close. There's another <laughs> cutscene when you crit hop, hop will say some weird thing. <laughs> some weird thing. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> honestly, I don't like read the text in this game at all. I just like anything that's not immediately relevant to my decision making for the run. It's like, <laughs> all right, don't care. <laughs> don't care. Didn't ask. <laughs> plus L plus ratio. <laughs> All right, so now we have unlocked the water bike. Yay! Now you get the dodge thing that like jump at you. It's so fun. Going to go over here, get this for a candy, and be on my way. Yeah, you might wonder why we don't just use repels. Uh, that's because they, they suck in this game. They don't work in this game. <laughs> well, like, they they work, did something. They work. I really but, wish like, they did. So there are two types of encounters this, in this game. There's the like, the overworld ones that you see, and then like the random ones, which like the exclamation point goes over. Uh, repels only get rid of the second type and not the overworld one. So they effectively in a speed run they do nothing. Oh, that is so annoying! Oh, I didn't even know Berserker was on this route. Hmm. Yeah, so right there I was- I paused for a second to make sure I didn't hit that Marini, and in that moment a, uh, wild encounter spawned, so I- I hit it. Kind of annoying, but- <laughs> you know. I understand. <laughs> you're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I would have gotten rid of it. The repel would have gotten rid of it. But other than that, you know, no encounters in the water. It's good enough. I'll take it. Yeah, that's good. Sometimes it's really hard to dodge water encounters. Mm-hmm. Ooh, with the hail and the burn damage, I one-shot the Pangloro. Ooh. Pretty sure I do like 300% damage to the Pangora. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> four well, times weak to death the game. <laughs> yeah, so here I have been tormented, so I can't use the same move twice. It it doesn't it doesn't really matter for this instance, but Kind of annoying, you know. Well, look it out of the way! <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a good man time dodge right there. Alright, no encounters on Route 9. Nice. I have not gotten any in the water. There's nothing about the grass, but like a little bit of grass yeah. that I'm about to have to go through right here. Yeah, the grass right before Marnie is like evil. I know. So I'm, I, I, I'm so mad. I totally should not have hit something. Because the Marini was like right at the top. I could have easily avoided it. I just default to going to the bottom of that patch of grass. I feel like most of the time they spawn yeah, either too. at the top or in the middle. Yeah. But you know. Whenever you do that, that's when they spawn in the wrong spot, so... Yeah, this, uh, gym coming up is where Aspect's gonna make up a lot of their time. Yeah, it's a very uh, easy gym. <laughs> dark types versus fairy. And there's a lot of- oh, I missed the double input again. There's a lot of fights in this gym. Yeah. And so I hit level 50 directly after killing this uh, Leopard, and I need it for the Toxicroak that comes out next. We now have Moonblast, a 95 power move. Leopard's funny because the only attacking move it has is Sucker Punch. It just spams Nasty Plot at you, and it's completely <laughs> useless. I got really lucky I didn't get uh, tormented, so I can oh, just really? uh, use Moonblast the entire time. Yeah, that's nice.
this is the one point in the game where we get no free heals uh, between yeah. uh, just before hop seven um, and after defeating peers. Yeah, it's a rough time. Yeah, so right here, I'm going to rare candy to 50. That's why I just got that candy before. And get Blizzard. And not not use the charcoal. <laughs> not not that. Unfortunately, I don't think the charcoal is going to be doing much for you. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Sadly. A boost of those fire type moves you got. <laughs> You're right. Headphones are falling off of my head. Have you considered putting them back on your head? Yes. How's that going? Uh, it's good for now. All right. <laughs> Glad to hear it. <laughs> it's because I have one, like, side off my ear because oh, yeah, I yeah. have an earbud, and then it just falls off at some point. Because, you know, my, my hair is just too smooth and perfect. <laughs> so it just Great. slides right off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so right there, um, little tiny time save. Um, you don't actually have to walk all the way up to Mr. Mime there. You can go to that little poster on the wall. I think I think actually taught me that. Yeah, for this gym, a lot of my fights are going to be two-shotting, since these Pokémon are actually, like, fairly bulky. Yeah, it's the same for me. Yeah, they're pretty bulky, especially. Uh, Thedal is ridiculously, uh, especially defensive. <laughs> for any being a two-stage evolution. Thank you, Hanwei. In in all caps. Th 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 thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Hanwei. Did you get that? Thank you, Hanwei. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So right here is um the first instance where we need our our friend from Route Eight. On this Weavile coming up here, instead of using two Scald, I'm gonna Swift one of these turns because Scald and Swift KOs, and uh, I wanna save the PP, especially considering that uh, um, Weavile has pressure, which means each move that you use takes up two PP instead of one. gotten crit so many times during this run. <laughs> uh, let's heal. And now after a lot of cutscene, it will be Piers time. I don't know, I actually don't know who has their game audio coming through the stream, but at some point, you'll hear Pierce's theme, and it's good. <laughs> you'll also hear Pierce's great singing before the fight. <laughs> yeah. They definitely put vocals in there, and it's not just Pierce awkwardly, like, opening and closing his mouth. Honestly, if there was vocals, I think it'd be really, like, jarring. I think they shouldn't have put this cutscene at all. I agree, it would save time. <laughs> That's true.
Honestly, a lot of the music in this game is just so good. Yeah, the music is what keeps me actually invested for the entire four hours. <laughs> a lot of the time. Just glad they didn't do, take yeah. the media speed treatment and make everything faster without music. I am also glad. <laughs> Man, you're like caught up to me. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. I'm not quite there. Where are you two right now? Um, um I'm fighting peers now. I just used my first X item. Okay. I'm just about to enter the fight. Okay. I'm talking to Marnie right now, right before the fight. Actually, what's my HP at? I think it's good. Yeah. I leveled up and leveled uh, to above the HP I needed, to be completely safe. Uh, even if I'm low, I, there's no way I'm like so low that's going to be a problem, so... Oh, damn it! Well, now you're going to get ahead of me. No, it's fine. We'll all get, uh, we'll all get obstruct. <laughs> now you're really gonna get ahead of me. Obstruct into miss the 1116 into obstruct. Oh no. <laughs> yep, that's pretty standard if you miss the range. Yeah. You can it's also just use blizzard tiger. there, but you, you can also just miss multiple blizzards in a row. And it's yeah. even worse when that happens. Yeah, my... My decision here, I crit, um, is if I get sand attacked and exact, then I'll use blizzard. Because at that point, you know. Yeah, the blizzard's a lot more accurate. It's like 93 if you don't get a second one. Yeah, so that I might be as well. I, I am just using my first X item. Damn it, and I got Sucker Punch. Ugh. Gross. I have a 75% range on the uh, Scun Tank. Do we all have to get choice specs? I believe yes. so. See how that goes for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the choice specs are right beside where you fight peers. However, you can't actually access them until after you beat peers. And once you pe beat peers, the game puts you outside of bike mode. So you have to bike all the way back through and get it, and then bike all the way back, which takes about forty-five seconds uh, if you don't run into NPCs. However, there's a lot of randomly walking NPCs. It is spike with, and it's really easy to hit them, get stuck on them. And sometimes you get into situations where you can't even, like, get around them. Yeah. Oh, I got Sucker Punch as well. I think wasn't paying you. attention if I got Obstruct or not. <laughs> I got Obstruct and uh, Sucker Punch. Yeah. But I also hit the range, so that was nice. Yeah, sorry, I am noticing that my stream sometimes gives drop strength. It's actually looking good right now, like, right now at this particular moment. But, uh, like, I've been kind of going up and down. Sorry about that. Um, 
Yeah, I've been having some weird stream, like frame drop problems, re like very recently. So I'm gonna have to look into it. Yeah. It's not my internet at all. Okay, I can still I'm still like connected to Discord. I can see the chat. I can see everything. I almost wonder if it's like a like a solar flare. A what? That is probably the cleanest <laughs> I've done. Choice yeah, mine was pretty me. good. Mine was pretty good too. I didn't get stuck on a single NPC. Yeah, I got stuck, but not like real bad stuck. Just like had to move a little bit. It was fine. Yeah, if you if you want to understand uh, solar flares, you should you should ask T Pat. He probably knows better than I do. Okay. But I think it can like mess with the internet. Yeah, well, it's not like internet like dropping some weird thing. Yeah, I I like don't that. know. It does weird things. Ah! <laughs> Completely forgot what I was doing. Okay. Almost went into the center <laughs> on accident. Oh, oh, are they double blocking me? Okay. That's the worst. Yeah, why are you really good up until then? Yeah, mine, for like a very long time, there was just- it was a ghost town. It was great. Yeah. Uh. You mean a ghost corridor? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. That's basically what a spike muff is. <laughs> the corridor. It had such good potential, and they did nothing with it. Very sad. Yeah, so in just a second here, you will see the infamous very long load. <laughs> uh, you should you should count how long it is. It's after this one. This one's kind of long too, though. All right, here we are. Time for me to stretch. Hydrate. Uh Ow, my neck. <laughs> Owie, okay. Done stretching, it's still not over. <laughs> there we go. We're here. Also, I would hydrate, but I'm trying not to take the bathroom break this time. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. <laughs> I think I'm okay. I have also managed to uh, get past the long coat uh, loading screen. Nice. You're too close to me. Yeah, so these fights here aren't very exciting. It's it's really not anything special. I honestly hate Camilla these fights. Is... I hate double battles. They're stupid. Yeah. Camilla is a little scary uh, for you, isn't it? Uh, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with my fight, the actual, like, the the number one thing I'm actually trying to do is have everything except in my party except my Vaporeon be KO'd by the dot time I'm done all three. And that's because if you only have one Pokemon alive in your party once you're done all three battles, you, you get a full party heal. Yeah. Whoops, that is not the move. Oh my god, I'm choking. 
I'm choking. Do you have a move? Okay. Uh, oops. I guess I'm using this now. <laughs> yeah, I just want Ponyo to do nothing there, so usually you just use your status move, but I accidentally just went into the bag anyways. So I'll just use an item that does nothing. So right here, since there's hail up, I can blizzard free of guilt. <laughs> Guess I got the Ponyard taken care of there. I'll bring up the Litwick, KO Turtonator, and then I got one more fight where hopefully this Litwick will get KO'd. I'm on to Raihan now. Me too. You're like a couple seconds ahead of me, I think. Uh, that's fine. Alright, so I have a 12.5% to get a two turn fight here. Uh, Gigalith is 12.5% to kill. Just because it's in sand, it gets a 50% boost to its special defense. It makes it uh, pretty bulky to uh, special attacks. This Obama though here is a 13 out of 16 range for me. So hopefully I just get it. I got it. Nice. Now hopefully this Hakamo O KOs Litwick. Alright, good. You gonna use stealth rocks? That's so rare. <laughs> the glyph will normally use body press onto your second Pokemon because it generally kills it. But I guess I saw that I had another Pokemon in the back. Having um, Glaceon and Vulpix out, because um, on my desk here I have a little Glaceon figure and a little Vulpix figure, and they're the only two that I have. <sighs> this is the end gym, so that means we've only got a little bit left to go, right? Yeah! Uh, hi, we can yeah. be way uh, underestimated. Uh, 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 uh. I can't believe this. We only have like 20 minutes left, probably. Yeah, my fight is actually decently complicated. There's a lot of like branching paths depending on what things do. If I get yeah. paralyzed, it's uh, real bad. <laughs> oh, 
hopefully that just, like, doesn't happen. Okay. Oh, uh, I've made a la very large mistake. Oops. Uh, oh, what happened? Hmm, I'm gonna die to Duraludon. I forgot to heal. Oh no. Yeah, if you're low HP, you're supposed to heal. Uh, yeah. You have to revive and then Dynamax? Probably. Oh! Okay! Alright! We take that, I guess. Did you make it? Uh, it, ca it KO'd my uh, uh, other partner. Oh! It's lucky because Dynamax wouldn't have actually helped there. Because your choice spec. Oh, and Dynamax yeah, um, doesn't get the benefits of choice spec. Alright. Made it through, no problem. Nothing Yay. to worry about. No problems, nothing scary at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I notice I'm still dropping frames. I... Wanna try to restart my stream again, see, but I don't know if that messes with like the layout of tech, however tech works. I don't know. There I got my healing for the rest of the run. Okay, I have heard that it does not. I will attempt one more time. I don't think it will help, but I I, I will try. Don't freak out if you just see my skin just go completely blank. <laughs> the spliced run. Oh, wow, you're on champion already? That's insane. <laughs> wow, how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just picked up a Comet Shard. Uh, that is purely so I'm able to afford uh, enough vitamins later on. Uh, it guarantees it will outspeed a couple of things. It also makes our rows a little bit safer. Very nice, I hit the 56% uh, range there. That Moonblast is a range. That means I don't need to heal before going into Glen. I think I need a new chair. This one is not doing it for me. Why not? Because everything hurts. <laughs> That might that might not be the chair's fault, but I don't know. <laughs> it's not helping. I got calm mind, which means I'm probably not gonna two shot this part of war now. Got 
Oh, and then we'll just use Draining Cast. Uh, this Darmanitan here has um, has Gorilla Tactics, which boosts its attack by 50%. Um, so Icicle Crash can be incredibly scary here, um, because it also has a chance to flinch. Um, for some reason, they also gave this Darmanitan Taunt, and Gorilla Tactics also locks you into the move that you use. Uh, so it can just get locked into using Taunt. Oh, oops. I didn't take that turn hard, hard enough and hit the Mr. Mine here. Yeah, yeah, this um, this route is another example where I can just use Blizzard and be fine and great and everything's great. <laughs> yeah, I fight the postman here, but we get the Palipper because uh, it set the Palipper sets a frame. Mm -hmm. Which actually make it so I can just one shot both these Pokemon. Easy. I just one shot them with Moonblast anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, right there is another double battle that you want to be careful of, because there's actually a good chance you have something else in your party at that point. Gotta be careful. What I should have done is put on the wise glasses while I was doing that, but I forgot, so whatever. <laughs> Wanly won some hots. <laughs> 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 One, like, can't you stop? <laughs> yeah, so here I want the wise glasses because Marnie can uh, use torment, and if we're twice specced, then we're kind of screwed, so don't want to do that. Yeah, if you're twice specced and tormented, you basically just have to ruin at that point. You just have to Dynamax, there's no other way around it. I'm coming up on the Darmanitan fight. Uh, this fight is fine for me. Uh, Darmanitan will probably use Headbutt. Uh, just don't flinch. Just don't flinch. <laughs> that was also my response to it. 30%. It used taunt. Okay. Good idea there. Go on, Anakin. Alright. Perfect Marnie 3. We didn't get Torment. We didn't get Star. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, here but I, I can have just to pay spam attention. Moonblast. Uh, because Snarl might lower my special attack. And then I've got to use some more X specials. Oh, and then after that is uh, Amber's favorite hop fight. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's uh, a <laughs> favorite of mine, one could say. Definitely nothing goes poorly on that fight. No, of course not. Okay. Yeah, so there I got my special attack drop, so I'm at one right now. And I need to be at two. So, now I am at three. Torment on the last turn is kind of cringe, but whatever. Yeah, plus zero Moonblast deals with Marnie's entire team. Very tight moment. <laughs> Must be nice. Okay, yeah, but uh, if I get a terrible rose fight because of fairy typing as well. <laughs> it's just like the other runners, I put on uh, an item that's not the choice specs for the same reason. Just then, I put on the mystic water here. 
Yeah, so, uh, one thing you might be wondering, so I have the Mystic Water, which is the item that boosts, uh, water moves by 20%, and Aspect has the Pixie Plate, which is the item that boosts Fairy moves by 20%. You might be asking why Gritted does not have the <laughs> Never Melt Ice, which is the item that boosts ice moves by 20%, and that's because it is very far out of the way. <laughs> like, several minutes out of the way. Yep. And then you're like, oh well, why don't why don't, why don't they just get the uh, the spell tag for uh, ghost boosting? That is even further out of the way. <laughs> and also only a thirty three percent chance of being there. Format turn one for me. I just gotta pay attention to my snarls now. One snarl, so I'm up plus one special attack now. A snarl crate. Very cool. Oh. Okay, I'll be up. Plus three. Okay, good. Yeah, I need to be up plus three special attack. Luckily, I didn't get snarled twice. If I got snarled twice, I would have to use a third one. Yeah, so now I can put the choice specs back on. Yep, I also put the choice specs back on. I will be getting there shortly. And by shortly, I mean like. And I didn't get paralyzed. Nice. Oh. Yeah, so you normally have to set up on... I got Sucker Punch by the Toxic Croak. Okay. Not something you see every day. <laughs> uh, Double has uh, a move called Body Slam. Body Slam is 30% to Paralyze. Uh, it's not guaranteed to use Body Slam at all, and usually you don't have to set up too much on Double. But if you get Paralyzed, you pretty much just have to... You have to Full Restore, and then it can use Body Slam to Paralyze you again. So if any... Any fire red lift loose green earners know about Lorelei. It's it's like that, except actually not as bad as Lorelei. <laughs> yeah, so right there it used body slam, but I did not get paralyzed, so all is well. I accidentally locked myself into Dazzling Gleam for uh, Pop, mm -hmm. uh, which means that Inteleon is not guaranteed to die. So I next special attack again on Corbinite, and it has a scary face, which I forgot about. Oh, uh, yeah. But I do have to Dynamax here, uh, just so I don't die to Inteleon. I fight it, just set up an X special, set up an X speed, and then go. Yeah. Luckily with Glaceon route, because like the last Pokemon is uh uh Rillaboom. Rillaboom's oh. decently slower than Cinderace and Inteleon, so you don't have to set up an X speed. Yeah. Oh, I didn't need a Dynamax, he just used Max Hailstorm and did, like, 20 damage. <laughs> oh, great move idea. Yeah. I was expecting Max Geyser. I'm gonna turn on my light here. Yeah, I, it was really cloudy, I turned on my light, like, two hours ago. 
No, don't start vibrating on the screen. Okay, there we go. Set my controller down. I didn't want it to like vibrate and then be really loud. <laughs> Special, use cotton guard. Cotton guard's nice, pretty much doesn't matter. Speed. I didn't- I was so shocked that I didn't get paralyzed that I tried to run. <laughs> I have crit hop. Oh. No cutscene, no cutscene. Oh, There's no cutscene on this fight. <laughs> oh. I'm so happy. Yeah, so now we're getting to the point in the game where you fall asleep. Because yep. it's yeah. boring. <laughs> yeah. So if you got anything, got any questions, you know, got any conversation topics. <laughs> yeah, if you need a snack, now is a great time. Yes. Okay, we're going through the macro cosmos section, which is fight a bunch of steel type Pokemon. None of which are particularly strong. Two of which are slightly annoying. Yeah, the only like bad thing in my section, well, until I until I get to Oleana, the only bad thing is I have to two shot one of the Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, you'll see later. I gotta gotta use some blizzards on my end, and it did not go very well the last time I ran this. Yeah. <laughs> if you get lucky and hit, yeah, there's a there's some double fights you have to do, and on one of them mm -hmm. that I will be using blizzard, and if you hit both of them. It does separate accuracy checks for the two of them. If you hit both of them, it's a one-turn fight. It's really fast. Yes. If you if you miss, it's fun. Then you're really sad, and then <laughs> you get a clip out of it to put in the PSR server. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got out of that. Oh, I hit 58 there. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, my experience is a little, like, weird. experience scaling is really weird in this game. So, because I fought that, I had to fight that Diglett, like, at the very beginning of the run. It's actually slightly different than what I'm used to. And because of EXP scaling, more EXP can actually end up getting you less in the long run. Mm -hmm. I just need to pay attention and make sure I actually hit the level I'm supposed to. I need to hit level 59 after the second Durant I'm going to fight here. Because at that point, I need to use my rare candies and get the level 61. That combined with uh, the vitamins that I'm about to buy, uh, will make uh, me out outspeed something. It will get me uh, good ranges on uh, Pokemon in the end game, and overall, it'll be a good time. Also, I like <laughs> when Marnie comes in, she like shears for you and it boosts your stats and it makes you like pick an option of what to say to her and the options are thanks and thanks for the help. <laughs> it's not please stop talking, you're losing me time. <laughs> Yeah, here I'm going to buy some Carbos. Uh, Carbos are really good, and that's why. I had to, I had to make a quick stop at uh, Hammerlock Central to buy more X spades. I sure do love Freeze Dry Simulator.
Oh yeah, right there, you really want to say yes to Piers, because then you get teleported to the place that you need to be. <laughs> and if you don't, you gotta... Go over there. You gotta fly over here and waste time. Yeah. It's annoying too, because, you know, you look at Opal and you're like, Wow, if I say no, I actually save time. It's not the case on this one. Sadly. You just walk a lot faster than Opal. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Moonblast got a special attack drop on ex on Excadrill. It's really using that special attack. Fighting, buying both Carbos and Calcium. Oh, actually, I buy the max amount. Yeah, I bought nine of each. Uh, yeah, I buy. Oops, I talked to the guy there, and not the trainer supposed to fight. I buy nine Carbos, five Calcium. Carbos uh, increase the your speed. Calcium increase your special attack. I buy a specific amount just because of uh, things I need to outspeed and range I need to hit on Pokemon in the end game. Yeah, for me, I just buy all the Carbos that I'm able to buy. How's it going? <laughs> it's going good. I... My arm kind of hurts. Oh, wait, I, I crit the thing I, I normally two shot. That's actually <laughs> a good crit. That's actually a good one. The Pharisee? Yeah, the Pharisee. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so exciting. Sorry. I... <laughs> That's like the most exciting thing you'll see in like the next five minutes. <laughs> I also crit the Steelix. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I hope I get enough EXP. <laughs> yeah, so here Aspect and I are both like right about to enter uh, Rose Tower. It's yeah, very I also thrilling. Yeah, time having to Dynamax and uh, yeah. buy extra X speeds. Yeah. Well, Ranger, everything could change momentarily for me. <laughs> uh, and we have um, worse Rose fights compared to uh, Amber's. Yeah, yeah, the only, like, real... like The worst thing left for me is that I have a 15 out of 16 range on Oleana, which is coming up. I stand, like, between 5 and 10 minutes from now. Uh, if I miss that range, I'm just dead. But, I mean, it's 15 out of 16. Yeah, honestly, like, with the stuff that we have left, there re it really is, like, anyone could win, I think. Yeah, I think anyone can win from here.
Glaceon to champion fight it can be yeah. extremely difficult. <laughs> on what happens? <laughs> yeah, Sylveon's uh, champion fight's pretty bad because uh, Charizard was just fairy. Yeah, Vaporeon's just pretty, usually pretty easy. I'm just worried about my EXP just hitting 59 after this next Pokemon. Yeah. I'll have to think about what I'm going to do if I don't hit it. You pick up uh, the candy and... Bruce yeah, I are, like I already routed it. Yeah. There is one other candy in, um, yeah, oh, Winden, yeah, yeah. but it's slow. It's really slow. If I really oh, need to get another yeah, candy, I will fly to, uh, Hammerlock and get that one. Yeah, that's but... definitely faster. Yeah, I actually don't know if I can leave Road Tower after this fight. Um, I think you can. Yeah, Hopefully it just won't be a problem. The thing is, like... If it has, if it makes you prompt to enter the elevator, I think that's it telling you now is your time to leave. Okay, I got level fifty nine. All right, okay, good. Yeah, cause now now that I rare candy, my XP will be consistent after this. Mm -hmm. okay. And I've used all my vitamins there as well. This Bronchong here that I'm about to come up against is actually quite bulky, and I actually really want uh, Hop to do some damage to it, which it normally does. It'll use Body Slam, which could do like barely anything, but that's good enough. Yeah, Hop at this point has aggressive AI, it's really nice. Um, anytime he can attack, he will attack, he doesn't waste time with uh, defensive moves. I am so nervous, okay. It is Blizzard time. Just hit. It's easy. If you hit both, it's really fast. I hit both of them. It's nice. a miracle. <laughs> Honestly, just not missing the stun fist is the real thing. Yeah. Okay, the stun fist has bounce, which is basically like fly. Dude, the split's gonna be so good. <laughs> Yo, yeah, this could like actually PB, I think. Because I think I I fainted in Eternatus fight, the, did, yeah. the second mm -hmm. one. It could happen. Oh, I crit the Delix. Nice. Yeah, so <laughs> what happened um, the other night when we were all practicing, I... Missed the stun fisk, and then I missed it again, and then I missed it again, and then I missed it again, and then it used bounce, and eventually I was using struggle. And that's the story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really lucky. Uh, double decided to paralyze the stun fisk, and stun fisk got fully paralyzed, so it didn't oh, bounce. That's really nice. Nice. Yeah, I just take out the stun fist first for my route because uh, you really don't want to give it a turn, and then if it bounces, it can be a problem. Yeah, see, the issue is it's pretty bulky, and so I can't one shot it.
Oh, good dodge, Sylveon. Dodged Will-O-Wisp. Ooh, nice. Nice. I fully paired the Steelix, and then... Yeah, fully paralyzed the Steelix. I don't know why I said it then. <laughs> we know then... that after. And then it didn't move. <laughs> when you have to hit the word count for your essay. <laughs> I am actually gonna save before Oleana, not because this is like a scary fight for me, but on the off chance I do die, uh, it takes a while to get back here, so. Yeah. It's better to just save. Saved one minute and 42 seconds off of that. crazy what happens when you actually hit the move. That's <laughs> true. By the way, I I love Oleana's team so much. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. Oleana's team of all these like beautiful, proper Pokemon and then just garbage. I do really like the uh, Gigantamax form for Garbodor though. It's so oh, funny. Yeah. It like, looks really cool. Okay, this Serena, the 15 out of 16 range, if I miss it, uh, it will drop kick, it will do a lot of damage to me, and I might die. Okay, I have killed the Serena. Nice. Yeah, so, annoyingly, these next few fights are also extremely boring. This is Elite Four time. It's very easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Elite. <laughs> Not very Elite <laughs> in this game. Uh. It's also... It wouldn't even be the Elite Four. Because Bead, like, steps in. Yeah, it would have been the Elite Three. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, on this Oleana fight, it's not worth it for me to heal the burn because by the point it would it would be like safe for me to heal it. Uh, it would waste more time to take the turn to heal it rather than just have the burn picks happen. I don't know why my arm hurts so much. <laughs> Maybe it's because you pressed A for three hours? No, it's like <laughs> it's like my bicep that hurts. You're getting swole, you're getting swole. <laughs> you know, I think it's because I had to like lift a bunch of stuff today because we put in my new desk. Oh yeah, you got a new desk. Yes. I also kind of hurt my hands. I have like these red marks on my hands now because I my desk was like sharp. I also scratched myself on the corner of my desk. <laughs> Things haven't of, been going well. You got a lot of things on your arms, huh? <laughs> yeah, I kind of <laughs> want to sand down the corner because it's like very sharp. That's it's a not good, good idea. My on my desk, it's like a little, like a tiny, tiny bit rounded. Yeah. So I don't just like hurt myself. Yeah. It was like the kind of scratch where it gets like puffy after. Oh, oh that yeah, did a yeah, lot I know of damage. Oh my god. It was a crit. Okay. Um, I'm fine. Yeah, I don't know why. Like we we all have turbo on the leaderboards. Fine. I just like not using turbo. I don't know why I prefer it. <laughs> 
Yeah, for this game, it's not too bad. Yeah. Plus, I feel like the regular turbo controller is just so much nicer. I'd rather be holding that. Yeah, so I think most of these fights for all of us is gonna be like X special and then sweep. Yeah, if even. Right. I may have just walked into the stadium and not gotten on the bike at all. <laughs> Oops. It happens. You're just, you know, getting getting some some steps in. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I haven't gotten my ten thousand yet. <laughs> Yeah, you weren't quite there from all your uh, walking around the wild area collecting watts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you said you had good pathing. That's probably why. I did why. have good pathing, yeah. <laughs> I lost the speed tied to Rapidash again. Which means that I used the uh, speed reducing uh, berries for friendship. So this next fight for me is very entertaining. It's called Click Freeze Dry. Can you ever explain what Freeze Dry does? Uh, do you want to explain? <laughs> sure. Freeze Dry is summoning no power reason. ice move, but it has one very special property, in which it is actually super effective against water. Types. Uh, very useful for uh, the next few fights. Yes. that they made Anessa, uh, Figma. They made Raihan instead. Be the change you want to see in the world? Build it yourself? <laughs> 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 yeah, I have the Marnie one. But they also, I think, I think it was just Marnie and Raihan that they did. Hmm. So obviously I have Marnie. Yeah, but, of course. You know, I don't, I don't think I need Raihan. <laughs> I like Ryan, but you know, he's no Nessa. Yeah. I don't know whose audio we have, but like some of the Dynamax like death cries are really scary. <laughs> they really like, are. Like Hatter Hatter. So loud as well. <laughs> yeah, I really I I really do want to know whose audio it's on. I could just like turn up my phone volume and then put it to my ear, but I expect audio, alright. Uh <laughs> I crit Barrow Scooter. Three seconds down the drain. Yeah, I crit Hatterene. It was very annoying. For real, I've had so many crits in this run. I feel like I've had like a regular amount of crits. 1 in 24, what you face like 100 Pokemon is like, you know. I'm not, not having the same number of crits as my last, uh, like, as the last uh, marathon run I did. Oh, yeah, I remember that. 
I feel like it was at least like 20 percent of my my moves were critting. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, so here we're back seeing Alistair. Um, it's not very exciting, but at least this time he doesn't have uh, Mimic You. I guess Mimic You got abandoned. I don't. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, on sword you're gonna fight B again. Uh, Holiches like super fast. Uh, which on some routes actually matter, but for mine it does not matter. It's annoying <laughs> for me, because if he bounces, then I just lose the turn. And I'm yeah. laughing I don't need to set up. because I'm thinking I know, about... I, I know what you're <laughs> going to say, and I don't want to talk about it. You can talk about it, I'm just... I'm, you know, I'm being, I don't want to talk uh, about funny. it either. <laughs> Basically, if you okay. know, you know. <laughs> I won't leave. I won't leave everyone in the dark. Uh, basically, we actually have a really funny story. Basically, I, I didn't know whether it was pronounced B or or Bea or what did I say? Did I say Bea or Bea or something like that? Bea, I, I think it was, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how to pronounce it. And I think I, I said Bea during a uh, marathon run Greta and Axe did not too long ago. And I got clowned on a lot. <laughs> the funniest thing, I'm actually gonna tell the funny thing that happened. Since then, I talked to one of my uh, friends from high school, and they're uh, they're non-binary now, and their name, the name they changed it was B. <laughs> <laughs> so, now I have to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> Oh, come on. I got bounced, uh, and oh. I got par paralyzed by it. Ah, uh, like, really unfortunate. Yeah, luckily for me, the, the worst thing about this fight is seeing Gigantamex Gengar, so... Bro, I hate <laughs> it so like, much. Just, like, having to look at it. It's I look so good. What are you guys on a bear? I don't want to look at its mouth. It's gross. <laughs> it's too big. It's so good. <laughs> I I like just seeing the champ better. I unfortunately lost another turn to having to heal the paralysis. Page. Almost one. Yeah. All right. Everyone's having fun with slots in chat right now. Maybe <laughs> I should do one. Maybe. We can all we can all do one. Okay, I need oh, it's to. Oh, broken. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Look at oh, my exit. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hello, you watching in the VOD. Yeah, I don't want to leave y'all in the dark. Wait, did uh, I get yarn? I wasn't I watching. Was Hop's face and then, like, the hazmat suit thing beside it. <laughs> so, with, like, one eye, Hop is looking through the hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> Oh shit.
You good there, Greta? Uh, I think I'm fine. Okay. How's Raihan going for you? Maybe it's not fine. I don't know. I'll tell you in a second. That's not what I want to hear. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I didn't get your turn one, so I don't need to X speed. It's just Flygon's gonna change the weather. Yeah, I perfectly buy just enough health of uh, Harbus so that I can outspeed Flygon. Because Flygon taking the weather is very slow. And I'm spending another turn on uh, Torkoal and getting slapped. Everything was fine. I have confirmed. I thought right. it was fine, but I was not going to say it was fine until I won, so... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, let me do this. I'm not looking forward to my Rose fight. Okay, I'm not that's either. so bad. Oops. I need the full restore here, because I'm asleep. Now I should be one shotting everything else. I, I had to use Aurora Beam times two there on Torkoal instead of Scald because I didn't get the choice spec to boost the tail of the rest of these Pokemon. And luckily, even though Solar Beam uh, should be a super powerful grass move, uh, Vaporeon is very bulky, so I can just tank Solar Beams. Hey even guys, in the so so this is the this is the champion fight, right? Yeah, right over here. Uh, I can't believe we're so close and so far underestimate. Oh, wow. <laughs> We've never done this joke in a Sword Shield Marathon <laughs> time before. It has never been done before. No. Only we'll original never, jokes here. And we'll never do it again. <laughs> Oh, I didn't win slots. I'm also going into the Leon fight. <laughs> I'm going into look at the laggiest part of the game. Hey, it didn't lag that bad there. There's still more time for it to lag, though. <laughs> there you go, there's some. I, I just KO'd Duraludon. Nice. Yeah, so coming up next for us is uh, Dodging Encounters in uh, Slumbering Wield. It's actually like way more difficult than it looks. Well, hopefully it will be more difficult than it looks. Hopefully it'll be as easy as it looks, is what you meant to say, I think. Uh, maybe. <laughs> 
thinking hard. Now I also hope it'll be more harder than it looks. I... <laughs> that was so... Oh my god. Did you did you see that? Did anyone see that? Somebody must have seen it. Someone saw it. Oh, yes. Yep. Usually in that situation, I would have gotten off the bike, but I like flicked my thumb off the stick and it it was it worked. So Oh. It worked. Did that did that look easy? Did I do a good job? <laughs> it probably looked did frightening. Did run into me? My dog is barking. I don't know if you can hear it, but she says hi. Got three Corviknights spawn. Oh god. Yeah, I had a ton of wheezing. A couple of ore beetles and a Muna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got away with, um,. Only one extra encounter, which was on uh, Route 9, right before Marini. So not too bad. I only had two, that's not too bad either. And one on uh, Route 8, and one in Subring Wield. Whoops, that is not the button. Okay. Oh, no, no. oh, oh my god, okay. <sighs> <laughs> a lot of things happened there, but basically I would have been fine, but sometimes you can like accidentally like run into a wall and just get like completely stuck for like a second. Oh, uh, yeah. And I did that just barely. Yeah, when you run into a wall, the back of the bike sort of pops out as well and like, makes the hitbox huge. Alright, I need to remember to save. I need to remember to hit B on the dialogue. Yeah, I need to remember to save as well. I am not going to save. It is possible for me to die. Uh, it's pretty unlikely though, and it's not too hard to get back to Rose if I do die. The only... To be honest, the only time I die is if it's either a scabble or crits, or... Um, Berserker starts spamming Screech. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so this is the worst outcome for this fight. Other than being dead, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I should be good. I'm 
then right here I need to heal. Oops, that is not healing. Yeah, so there I heal. Put up my other expression attack. And then we should be good from here. Big Sylveon! Big Sylveon! <laughs> Yay! I love it. Yeah, my fight is X Spectral twice on a Scavalier and then sweep. It is possible to die to a Scavalier without a crit. It's very unlikely. Okay. This is actually really good. I'm going to Berserk a full health. So for some reason, Berserker really likes to go for Throat Chop. I don't understand why it does it. I think the AI is cheating and just knows that you have a... Um, uh, a move that can be disabled by that. A screech oh, doesn't matter that was a max now roll. I kill. I am actually going to heal. Sword Stance actually good, because Sword Stance... Michael Horn actually won't kill me from falling left to crit. And so here I'm going to add something to the party, just to be safe in case I die. Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm actually going to try something on um, Eternatus. Get the same thing that I'm trying? Uh, no, it's going to be skipping the guard spec. Ah, okay. Oh wait, so if your like, Pokemon like does so much damage that... Uh, no, so the reason behind it mm -hmm. is... Um, it should go... For, it can't go for Max Wormwind into me. Oh, okay. So it should go for Max Ooze into me instead, which boosts its special, it doesn't drop um, Zacian's attack. I'm not going to be doing anything fancy. <laughs> I will be doing something fancy that I'll explain when I get there. Yeah. But basically, as opposed to the moves that uh, my other two races have, uh, I my best move against Et Eternatus is Aurora Beam which on the Dynamax form of the fight will not do that much damage, so instead I'll be something a little bit different. The only reason you thought of it because I mentioned it. Yes. In our yeah. Race. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about it before the run. I, I was thinking about if um, there's a situation on the raid at the beginning for Shadow Ball where you would helping hand. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I guess if it's not Drifloon, you could probably helping hand, like, a Snorlax, maybe? Yeah. The Snorlax yeah. has Crunch, so it's a pretty good mon. Mm-hmm. Uh, the thing with Vaporeon here is that Vaporeon just, like, has an ex- Oops, I meant to go to the store. Vaporeon just has um, an extra move slot anyway, so it's not like you're yeah. losing anything by having help in hand there. Mm-hmm. I will be using yeah, Sylveon it. also has the spare uh, move slot, but uh, Moonblast is just better. Yeah.
So here we are in cutscene land, my favorite. <laughs> Boom. Let's turn to start to Dragon Pulse. And Dragon Pulse again. Awesome. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll be starting my first Eternatus fight for shortly. Yeah, we're still all pretty close. It's, like, very possible that Leon, like, changes the outcome. Yeah, Leon... I've I just set up like so much on Leon. You're the farthest ahead, right, Greta? I am. Yeah, I think Leon is the most likely to screw over Greta and the least likely to screw over me. Yeah. So... <laughs> I just set up six turns on Age of Slash. Oh, that could be pretty bad. Uh oh. Okay, yours might be worse. <laughs> yours might be worse. Alright. Well, I only set up six turns if I get unlucky. Oh. Uh, yeah. If Flash Cannon drops my special defense, mm. then I just set up another X special defense. Yeah. For Glaceon, it's pretty much. If you get Pink Steel turn one, it's like basically a free fight. Yeah. Unless, it's you know, not... you get unlucky anyway. Yeah, let me get crit next turn. If you don't get King Steel turn one, though, you have to, like, set up a lot on Mr. Rhyme. Yeah. Which has a lot of potential to just defense, special defense drop you or crit you. Anyways, are we all in the cutscene? Uh, yeah. Okay. The dogs, yeah, are, moves. the dogs are currently in the process of appearing. Yeah, I'm just start. I like just starting the cutscene before you even select the the moves that don't work. Yeah. Nice crit. I Didn't love the much. uh I love the dog's theme. Yeah, it's very good. Is that a crit? Yep, that was a crit. That was so good. Okay. That was really good. Dog's crit or you crit? Dog. It was uh, That's really good then, yeah. It killed it. Such an early stat reset. Station almost died as well. Oh. Oh, I crit. Two stat resets in two turns. Nope, oh, doubles dead as well. Okay, and now I'm actually gonna helping hand Jason. 
Jason, you think it's gonna be doing the most damage here, so? Yeah. Uh, just... Let's see just how much damage that did, like, almost half a turn of this is damage, uh, hot HP right there. Oh, at that reset. The early stat reset is so unfortunate. Yeah. You know what? A helping hand might actually be worth it for me as well. Looking at that damage. Another stat reset. Well. <laughs> yeah, I got the double stat reset. It's so annoying. Believe <laughs> this KOs. Yeah, nice. Definitely want to save there. Three turn for you? Uh, yeah, like a three turn. Oh yeah, so I actually have a range on Charizard. I have a 93.8% range. I just hit it. <laughs> so 15, 16. Just hit it. Yeah, just hit it. <laughs> I think I've missed it once before. My Leon fight is pretty straightforward. I expect it twice and execute once on Egg Slash and then just sleep with Scald. The benefits of having a super effective move against Charizard. Yeah, fade out is, is time. Yeah. Yeah, Leon will like <sighs> throw his hat and then talk, have a couple text boxes and then I'll go like yeah. you earn this much money and then fade out. I'm very happy to say I got King Shield turn one and did not die to Flash Cannon. <laughs> Alright. That's the best fight you can get for Glacian. Glacian. Yes. You've been getting really lucky with that actually. Uh, yeah, after that one where it was not so great, it's been- mm -hmm. it's been good since then. I was really nervous about it. King Shield turn one as well. Yeah, actually, uh, well, I just don't want King Shield on the turn, but I'm trying to attack his boss. That's the only thing. Huh? Yeah. Other than that, it doesn't matter. Just don't, like, crit me on a bad turn, you know? Don't get too many special defense drops. That is through Leon then. I just need to kill the rest of his team and not hit miss the 15-16 uh, range. Okay, defense drop. Let's 
There's only five turns to set up. All right. <laughs> I should sweep be sweeping from here. Yeah, this ended up super close to my PB. This is gonna be a PB for the Vicorian, right? I the, think the so. We have to be close. Yeah. The Vicorian record isn't like super good, so it's not like that surprising. But this was a decent run for me. Yeah. So time ends in just a second here for me. And time. Nice. Three fifty-five twenty-five. Ooh, the on-screen timer actually is not that far off. It was one second off. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Ooh, actually, I don't know if it's going to beat my TB. Yeah, so that was 28 seconds off of my PB. So, pretty good. I'll take it. This will be about two minutes behind uh, my PB for Sylveon. I think I'm not going to beat my PB, but it's going to be really close. Mine's a 357-16. Yeah. Thank you for the right, GG's. are down, we got the range! Nice. Yay! Nice. And we finished at level 69. <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll be finishing at 69 as well. I'm at 68. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I won, it's because I didn't I didn't have to level up an extra time. Yeah, one and time. Extra time. <laughs> nice. Alright, nice. What was your time? Do you have splits up? I don't. I didn't. Oh. Uh, 3.56.57. I think they split a tiny bit early, based on what I was seeing, but I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> and... time. Wow. 3.57.19. <laughs> That's crazy. That was, that was so close. Oh my god, that was so <laughs> much fun. I will say that all of your times were about three to four seconds before Leon faded to black. Yeah, so mine was one why... second off. I got my time. Yeah, yeah. And then I scrambled at the very end when Amber said to time, <laughs> and I was in three different windows at once. Zach, no, that is more than okay. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good, you're good. Just like... that was That was an awesome run the entire way through. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank I'm sorry you. about all the frame drops from my end. I know it's been like a slideshow okay. for it's, half the time. Seriously, it's fine. No, it's like, okay. This was really fun. I I was one of the people who originally thought about the trade-all main idea, and I really love how far it's come and how awesome it's gotten. So yeah, it I'm just really happy to like hear that there's a race inside the PSR Marathon for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Honestly, it's so much fun, and it's like a way to play Sword and Shield and keep it fresh every single time. Mm -hmm. I think. And it's so exciting, like, going through the routing process of this and yeah, trying to see what really works. Yeah, routing is fun for it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, too, like, a lot of routes are, like, very beginner-friendly. So if you're someone who's, like, they you are. know, you've never speedrun a Pokemon game before, you might be a little intimidated by, like, all of the stat calculators or, like, R&D manipulations in other games. Like, try a trade alt main. See if you're somebody's done a trade alt main of your favorite Pokemon. Yeah, there's there's a lot out there, I can tell you. How <laughs> I have a bunch more that I've routed and haven't run yet. Yeah, there's at least, I think, 70. Mm -hmm. At least. Yeah, um, just thinking of any shoutouts. Uh, shoutouts, first of all, I guess to Corvame, who uh, we were hoping to have here, but is actually is not available. He's actually at Flame Fatalis right now. Yes. Shoutout to her. Um... Yeah, shout out to, uh, at least for, for a Vaporeon route, shout out to both Dijon Ketchup and, uh, Gavin, uh, and BD, who were two other runners that, uh, did Vaporeon runs, and I took a lot of ideas from them for the route that I used.
Uh, do you two have any uh, any other shout outs? Shout out to Amber and Aspect. Shout out to friends. Greta for Shout winning and being the, 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 the best <laughs> of our story. Uh, yeah, this was fun. I like Cured Up Means. They're good. And I like I like both of you. You're also good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. I think I think that's going to be all from us. So I think up next is Brilliant we Diamond Shining any Pearl. Percent. Any percent. If you've never seen that run, you need to see that run. That that run is a whole bunch of glitches. It's going to be great. It's going to be very quick. Don't are blink. You, Check it out. Are you commentating that aspect? I am, yeah. Yep. Y'all see if you aspect. want more aspect content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going and back tomorrow for stealing all of my words. <laughs> <laughs> You stole everything I was going to talk about. This is our job. Okay, you go ahead. Go ahead. Transition out. Feel free. Hey. <laughs> yes, no, please stay thank for you so the much rest of the three. runs. They're all so good. Yep. We have Pokemon Shining Pearl, any percent glitched by Nerd Square, and of course, Aspect Commentary. So we will yes. see you all in a few minutes. Thank you for having us. <laughs>